and I heard her saying she's going to call the doctor, of which I expected the doctor to come immediately. It's getting out of the body. It is very painful. There's a struggle. Yes. I could feel now my, 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 my spirit coming out of my body. And then after that, I saw another circle where ladies were also burning. And the ladies were those ladies who are dressed in female trousers. I realized he's a man. He is big. Even if I look at him like this, I could not see him clearly. He was so glorious. He was clothed in the sun. So this woman, I wondered why she is in hell. And I asked, I asked her, why are you here? She looked at me and said, I am here because of these dreadlocks. dreadlocks. Yeah, she had the dreadlocks on her head. Rapture is near. Jesus can come for, the, for his bride anytime. God. They are serving God, but they are doing other things. Some are false teachers. Some are false prophets. Some Hell is horrible. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Watch a life-changing testimony of heaven and hell of a near-death experience from Rarian Bressing, who was taken to hell and heaven and back to earth with a stunning message to the Bride of Christ. May those who have spiritual ears to hear and receive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Greet you in the name of our Jesus Christ. Uh, here we are with our sister, uh, Radian Blessed. Amen. Welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have a wonderful testimony that will change your life. Uh, since the Bible says that in the, in the book of Joel 2.28, that in the last days, uh, God will pour out his spirit to young people and to all people. Let us read in the book of Joel 2.28, the Bible says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. So, they are dreams and visions, and uh, here my, my sister have a, a wonderful testimony of heaven and hell, and she will explain for us what she saw and what happened, because she, have say, uh, she saw many things in hell. She has she, she have seen uh, about makeup, about contraceptive, about men of God who are there. Even she has seen uh, many people who are Christian, but they are in hell. She will tell us, she will explain to us what happened for that reason and many things that you have not even heard of. For the Bible says that there are things that are in heaven that we have not heard, but we shall hear because of the Holy Spirit of the living God. So I want to tell you that all those testimonies, they are for glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ. The testimonies that are being received in these days, the testimonies of end time and, and the revelations, dreams and vision, the visitation of heaven and hell, they are not testimonies for promoting church. They are not testimonies for promoting any name or promoting ourselves. They are testimonies of preparing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the Bible says that in the book of Joel 28, they are the end time days. They are the end time dreams and vision for preparing the church for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So may you hear them in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray just as we can now start. Let us pray. Mighty Jesus, our God and our Savior, yes. we glorify your holy name and we praise you for there is none like you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus Christ, because of this uh, mighty day that you have created, that yes. you may share this message to us. We glorify your name, we praise you in Jesus' name. Now we welcome your precious Holy Spirit that you may help uh, this message to reach all the people with the way, with the understanding, with the word that is understanding in Jesus' name. I pray that you may help Sister Radian, O oh God, that she may speak what she saw, according to what you told her, to share what she saw. Mighty Father, I pray for knowledge upon her, revelation upon her, wisdom upon her, for perfectness in the tongue, in the name of Jesus, that she will speak as you are speaking to her, in the name of Jesus. We give all the glory unto your name. We cover it by the blood of Jesus. 
for the glory of the name of the living God. Yes. Bless the viewers and make them to understand and to believe. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. Welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, Thank you. Now I would ask, I would ask I want to ask you what uh, you say uh, you just uh, illustrate uh, you, 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 who you are and how you have been brought up even to where you bega uh, you, you saw the vision or how you, it began. Amen. Yes. Yes. Um, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm um, here today to share with you a testimony. It's a testimony about a situation that I went through. And I will just want uh, you to listen to me very carefully. May the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost who is our helper, help you to listen and to understand. And according to the word of God, testimony helps us to overcome. Uh, when we read the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. Revelation chapter 10. Chapter 12 verse 11. 12 11. Yeah. Can I read it? Yes. And they, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and mm. by the word of their testimony. Mm. And they loved not their lives unto death. Amen. They overcame Satan with the word of their testimony. Mm. So this testimony, as I'm going to share with the brethren who are born again, it is not just for fun, it is not uh, just for something else, but all of us as the body of Christ to overcome Satan with the word of our testimony. My name is Lillian Blessed. I am born again. I fellowship with the Christian Foundation Fellowship Donholm and uh, Reverend Daniel Gitahi. That is where I fellowship as for now. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was born again in during the year 2008, April, after the post-election violence. I was pushed to seek the Lord for myself now. Without nobody evangelizing to me, without a pastor preaching to me to seek for Jesus, the situation forced me to seek Christ and to seek for the kingdom of God. Of God. And from there, since I was born again that time, I kept on following the word of God. I kept on going to church. I thought I was going to heaven because I was born again. And uh, I knew once someone is born again, you are saved. You have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. That is all you need. That is all you need to go to heaven. So that was my life. Once saved is always once saved. Yes, amen. That was it. So I was in salvation since I was born again from 2008. I was in Kisumu by then. And then after three months, I came to Nairobi. When I came to Nairobi, I started fellowshipping at uh, Deliverance Church, Umoja, mm -hmm. under, Dr. under Bishop J.B. Masinde. So I was there for a while. And after some time down the line, I came to start fellowshipping with another church, the same area of Moja, but a different church with the Deliverance Church. So I was there for a while, and uh, I was also working. I was a hairdresser. I was a makeup artist. Um, I was also doing physiotherapy in hospitals. Sometimes I was being called in hotels, big hotels to do physiotherapy so and all that. But now, during that time while I was still uh, working and doing everything, going to church as usual, there was something that I wasn't doing in my life, of which I will explain as we continue. Uh, speaking or listening to each other. So, 
The year 2000 and uh, I, I can say it was 2016. 2016. 2016, I started passing through difficulty situations. Difficult situations. That was 2016. And now I started thinking there might be something wrong I have done that is making me to pass through this uh, difficulty situation. I started praying, asking God what is wrong with my life. Nothing is going well. Financially I was down. Sicknesses, small, small sicknesses. Every now and then I go to hospital, I get well, I get back to sicknesses. I have no money and all that. So I started thinking what might have went wrong. Because since I was born again, I was working, my life was okay, I had money according to the work that I was do, that I was doing. But remember I have told you, when I left Deliverance Church of Moza, I joined another church. And uh, I was very close to the servant of God of this new church. So, uh, during that time, we used to be very close, even with the people in the church, other sisters, other brethren also in the church, we were very close, we loved each other. And uh, as life goes, as we continue to be together like that, there is a situation that happened between us. We came to a not misunderstanding each other, especially between me and the man of God. So when we came to misunderstanding each other, we reached somewhere we could not talk with this man of God. With this man of God, there is something he did, and uh, I was not happy about it. So what I did. I started talking about it. I started telling people, so, other brethren, that is slandering. Yes, mm -hmm. that is slandering. Mm -hmm. What the man of God has done mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. So when the man of God heard whatever I was speaking, he took opportunity to come and to speak to me and to tell me to forgive him. Mm -hmm. He realized his mistakes. Mm -hmm. But he told me to forgive him. I said, oh man of God, me, I have nothing against you. I have nothing bad against you. I have forgiven you. But deep down my heart, I didn't forgive. From the heart. From the heart, yes. Because even if he could text me, my response was bad. If we could meet, I cannot face him. I could not even say hi to him. I could not greet him. Mm -hmm. I kept on talking negative, mm -hmm. slandering him, telling people why I have decided not to even to go to his church. Yes. To his church. So I stayed home uh, like uh, one year. That was 2013. 2013. The year 2013. And uh, 2014, I decided to join. Christian Foundation Fellowship. Mm -hmm. When I went there and I decided to join the church, my pastor, he wanted to know why I have left the other church. Yes. So I explained to him the whole scenario. Mm -hmm. And as a man of God, he instructed me and told me, yes, this and this has happened, but you, what you have to do, don't speak. Don't tell anybody about it. Mm -hmm. This is a man of God. Forgive him. And forget, forget and forget. Mm -hmm. Yes, pastor spoke to me, but I did not mm -hmm. did according yeah. to the instructions. Yes. I didn't follow. I, yani, in other words, I can say I did not obey the words of the man of God. Mm -hmm. Just as according to the Bible, if you read um, uh, Hebrews chapter 15 verse 17, mm -hmm. It says, obey. It says, mm -hmm. obey those who are in authority. In authority yes. 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 Can we read the scripture? Hebrews 
Hebrews, it is Hebrews chapter 15 verse 17. I just want to confirm with the word of God. Hebrew. Chapter 15 verse 17. It says Hebrew, Hebrew. Hebrew chapter chapter 13. Yeah, chapter 13 verse 17. Yes. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch over yes. your souls. As they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not for with grief for that is unprofitable for you. Yes. So me, I did not obey the words of my pastor. I still kept on talking about this man of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was true. Whatever I was talking about was true. It mm -hmm. was something that happened. But later on, I came to learn that I was not <coughs> supposed to talk about it. Yeah. I was supposed to cover the man of God. Mm -hmm. That is what I was supposed to do. Yes. Now, in that situation, while I was still going to church and doing everything and all that, is when my life started being harsh. I led a life that was not good. I had no money. I had a lot of frustrations. I could work, get some money. Sometimes I don't know how I spend the money, even my salary, even uh, gifts. I cannot explain. I had like uh, 150,000 I had saved in the bank. That money was stolen. Now when the money was stolen, my house was also broken with thieves. They took everything. They left me with only the clothes that I had. So I started crying to God, asking him for forgiveness. And I started thinking, maybe the company that has, I am working for has a problem. Mm -hmm. So I decided to change from where I was working. I went to another place. I went to work in a hospital for physiotherapy now. And I was still doing my hairdressing and uh, doing makeups. Mm -hmm. So I cried, I cried, and I asked God what is wrong with me. If there is be any sin in me, God, let me have mercy upon me. But there was no nothing changing. There was no any response. It just looked like I am just praying in vain. I am just crying to God in vain. So one day, I came from job in the evening. Then after my supper, when I went to the bathroom, I felt the presence of God. And I felt I should pray. So I started praying in the bathroom. So when I started to pray, in fact, I was groaning. I was cry not crying, I can't call it crying, because I was <coughs> groaning, bitter. I was so bitter about my life. And I told God, I have been crying to you for mercy. I have been calling for mercy, asking you for mercy to forgive me and change my life. Because I realized I'm working. I have a rares rent areas of around 105,000 in school I have a, a girl she's in high school in school I had a, a school fee balance of around 68,000 but I am working yes I'm being paid my salary properly without any problem so I cried I groaned and I told God because you have refused to forgive me, mm -hmm. now I need your judgment. Mm -hmm. Judge me righteously. Mm -hmm. And if your will is to kill me, kill me, but do not take me to hell. Mm -hmm. So I cried and I groaned. That those were the words that were coming out of my mouth for around like three hours. After praying, I just went to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I slept. In the morning, I woke up. I went to job as usual. The second day, the third day. Now, on the third day, when I came back home after my supper, when I went to sleep, 
I felt some cold on my body. But it was not like, you know, sometimes when you feel cold, you will start feeling it a little by little. But this one was not like that. I felt as if somebody has poured upon me very cold water from the refrigerator, like ice. I felt as if I have been soaked into ice. And then I was trembling. In 20 minutes, my teeth were beating each other. And I said, what is it? Why this? And were you sick? I wasn't sick. You are, you are normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was normal. Mm. So I started thinking, what has happened to me? Why all this cold? Mm. All of a sudden, in like one hour, less than one hour in fact, mm. I started feeling heat. A lot of heat all over my body. Mm. I was feeling as if I have been dipped into fire. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Mm -hmm. My body was hot. Mm. I could not even cover myself with just a very light mm. little bed sheet. Mm. And it was overnight. Mm. So I started praying. Mm. Now I realize I am sick. Mm. I started feeling some pains pains all over my body, everywhere I was aching. So I started praying, telling God, forgive me, have mercy upon me. I did not remember mm. that I had called for judgment. Yes, yeah, you called for judgment. Yes. I didn't remember that. Now my prayer changed, I was asking God for mercy. Heal me, have mercy upon me. Mm. I was crying. But my body was aching everywhere, every joint. Mm. At around uh, um, three mm. in the morning, mm. it was now severe. Mm. I started coughing blood. blood. Yeah. Now coughing. Yes, mm -hmm. I was now coughing blood. Mm. My ribs were very painful. Mm. Heat all over my body mm. so when i started coughing blood mm. i realized now this is worse i felt i want to go for a short call when i tried to wake up i couldn't make it mm -hmm. from where i'm sleeping mm. to the sh mm. short call it was not easy for me and remember it is this is something that started just uh like uh, seven or six hours ago mm. but in the in six hours or seven hours mm. i couldn't make it to go to the toilet yeah. it was as worse as that mm. so i was just praying 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 but even i was praying i could not utter words i was praying inside mm. i couldn't utter words yes. yeah i was totally exhausted mm. So uh, the situation went on like that until uh, around 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning, my neighbor came in the house. When she came, she decided to go and buy me some painkillers and, uh, and uh, some drugs, antibiotics. So she brought to me the antibiotics and the painkillers. After taking those medicines, I felt somehow a little bit light and i started feeling ah, maybe it was just fever i'm getting well mm -hmm. so this neighbor you know she was going at work mm -hmm. she went at work and i was left in the house alone alone at around 1 pm i started feeling again very bad fever increased mm -hmm. heat increased mm -hmm. pain increased so I started crying now. I tried to take her phone. I wanted to text my pastor to tell mm. him that I am sick. Mm. I tried to text, but me myself, I, I looked at the phone, the texts, even me myself, I couldn't read. So I canceled. I never sent that message to him. At around six in the evening, my neighbor came back to check on me. When he came, she find I was very worse, I cannot talk, I cannot move, I am just there. 
where I was sleeping, it was all over the place, it was just blood, because mm. I was coughing blood. You were coughing blood? Yeah. Mm. So she decided to call another friend mm. to take me to the hospital. Mm. That is uh, the year 2017, mm. March, early March. Mm. Uh, in, in fact, it was on the 1st of March, mm. 2017. So they took me to the hospital in the evening. We went to the hospital here in Nairobi, uh, a hospital called uh, Diwopa. I don't know whether you know Diwopa Hospital in Kayole. That is where I was taken. So the doctor diagnosed uh, malaria, pneumonia, bronchitis, lower blood sugar. I had no also blood in my body. All that I had ulcers also, mm. so the doctor said I have to be admitted. So they admitted me that evening, and my neighbors just they went back yes. home. So mm -hmm. after the admission, after the first aid, mm. I started hearing voices speaking to me. Why did you slander the man of God? Why were you talking against the man of God? I listened. I see, I was seeing this man of God, I was seeing him as if he is there with me in the spirit. I hear a voice speaking to me. I started feeling guilty. Why? Actually, I started thinking the good things that this man of God did in my life. He taught me how to pray. He was a good teacher of the word. He taught me how to understand the Bible. Yes. So I started thinking all those things, any good thing that he ever did in my life. And I started feeling guilty. And I remembered one day there is a sister who knew this issue and this sister came and told me, please Lillian, forgive pastor and don't talk about him. Remember he's still a man of God. Yes. I said what? That is, was my answer. I told that sister, I cannot. He's the one who did a mistake, not me. So he's the one to forgive me. Mm. Yes. I cannot lie down to go and tell him I have forgiven you and all that. Mm. He said, okay, if you don't want, that is your issue. Mm. So I remembered that night. I remembered how this sister instructed mm. me and told me to go back to apologize to the man of God. Mm. And I was just hearing, why, why, why? I, I woke up, I sit on the bed, I look around, when I look around, I want to see who is talking, I am not seeing anybody, I am just hearing voices. And now the last voice I heard was Psalms 105, Psalms 105 verse 14, verse 14. Psalms 105 verse 14. Psalms 105, verse 14. Yes. Ah, uh, the Bible says this. Saying, touch not mine anointed one, yes. and do my prophets no harm. Amen. Mm. When I heard that voice, I had no Bible in the hospital. I took my phone and then I googled that verse. Mm. I, I didn't know what the verse was talking about, but when I went to Google, I find, touch not. Touch not my anointed ones. My anointed ones. Mm. And then I realized, okay, mm. here I touched the anointed one. Yeah. I remembered every word that I ever spoke mm. against him. Mm. So I, I started repenting. Mm -hmm. I started telling God to forgive me for touching mm. the anointed one. Mm. I tell you, my breath, brothers, a man of God, Wherever, whatsoever he is, whether he is on the wrong or on the right, mm -hmm. God still values the anointing upon him. It is true. 
it re still reminds me the, the verse that we have read in Hebrews. Yes. Chapter 13, verse yes. 17. Yes. He will give account. Whether he is on the wrong mm. or he is on the right. Yes, true. Do not talk against him. Mm. Do not slander Touch. him. Mm. Do not touch the anointing. Mm. Like also, I can remember in the, in the Bible, yes. there was this man who was called uh, Saul and yeah. David. Mm -hmm. And you see, Saul was anointed man of God. Mm. And uh, David was there. When mm. David was given Saul in his hand, mm. uh, the Bible said that David, he knew the scripture mm -hmm. that he cannot touch the anointed one. Amen. Because Saul was anointed man, mm -hmm. so he, did, he didn't speak evil about him. Yes. He didn't uh, do anything. He didn't harm him yes. because he knew that this is anointed man. Even if he has fallen, mm -hmm. even if God has rejected him, mm -hmm. he's still a man of God with the anointing of God. Yes. So there's no way that permits us to, uh, to slander, to accuse any man of God because of the anointing of God. Yeah. Yes. Also, mm -hmm. not only slandering men of God, mm -hmm. slander is a sin. Yes. No slander will inherit the kingdom of God. But to me, I thought slandering is speaking something that somebody has not done. But slandering, if, even if somebody is a thief, and you go telling other people, so and so is a thief. Mm. And you cannot face this thief and tell him you are a thief. Change. You are slandering that person. That's true. Yes. Mm. That is what I learned and that is what I realized. Mm. So I started asking God for forgiveness. Mm. To forgive me mm. for slandering the man of God. For talking negatives um, about him and all that. In the morning... I was feeling good. I was not now hearing any voice speaking to me concerning the man of God. I felt now I am okay. I was responding to medication very well, very well. Even the doctor came to check on me. They found I am okay. So I continued with medica medication for like three days. Now after three days, the doctor came and uh, checked on me and he said they might uh, discharge me the following day because I was now coming up very well. Mm -hmm. He said they might discharge me the now following on day, the third, third day on my third day. So they had to discharge me on the fourth day, mm -hmm. the following day. Mm -hmm. One who was, no, one who was not sick. Yeah. Not, uh, you are not feeling anything. Mm. No, you are now in the hospital. Yeah, and I am. You are even you are, you are lying now there. Yeah. So it is worse. Yeah. <laughs> you the no. judgment of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, this third day after the doctor talking to me, mm. is when I thought, oh, I have been in the hospital for three days. Mm -hmm. I have to update my pastor. Mm -hmm. So I sent him a message yes. that I am sick. Mm -hmm. I am in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Please pray for me. Yes. So the man of God responded mm -hmm. immediately mm -hmm. and he prayed for me over phone. Mm -hmm. So after praying for me over phone, mm -hmm. when it reached in the evening, in, in the evening, at around 8 o'clock, I felt like uh, sleeping. So when I felt like sleeping, I started to dream and in this dream I saw a woman who was my my boss where I was working in the hospital yes. I saw this woman she was an Indian woman and then I saw her coming near me mm -hmm. with the, a crowd of other women they were playing drums they were carrying some statues like they were worshipping those statues. But when they came near to me, I felt these people wanted to sacrifice me. And I felt so tired in that dream. I felt exhausted. So I said, in that dream I remember, I said, I have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I cannot be sacrificed at any evil altar. When they heard what I spoke, now they came by force. Mm -hmm. They wanted to grab me by force. Mm -hmm. Again, I repeated, I have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
I cannot be sacrificed at any evil altar. Yes. Immediately I saw my pastor. He just came, he picked those women together with their statues, with those idols. Mm. They were dancing and he poured anointing oil upon them and he alight fire upon them. Yes. I saw them burning and turning into ashes. Mm -hmm. And then the man of God left. Mm -hmm. So, when I saw that, after the man of God went, mm -hmm. I woke up. When I woke up, I was feeling mm -hmm. somehow good. Yes. Although I was exhausted, I was tired, mm -hmm. but I could feel I am, I am healed. Mm -hmm. So I started thanking God, mm -hmm. giving God thanks for healing me. And I also remembered I did a good thing to inform the pastor that I am in the hospital. Mm -hmm. In the morning around, not in the morning, still midnight. I can say it was midnight because it was around now 1 mm -hmm. p 1 a.m. I also see another man, and this man is a pastor. A pastor whom I know very well. Mm -hmm. I saw this pastor somewhere. Now you are seeing in a vision or a in, a dream. in a dream. Yes, it mm -hmm. was a dream. Mm -hmm. I was seeing a pastor, and this pastor was standing somewhere um, with the other two ladies. Mm -hmm. And where they were standing, I saw them digging a grave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were digging a grave, mm -hmm. and I realized they wanted to put me inside this grave. Mm -hmm. But they were digging the grave and they are still praying. Then I realized they are praying against yes. me. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to die. Mm -hmm. To die. Mm -hmm. And I had no... I, I, any, I can say I could not pray for myself when I saw that. Mm -hmm. I was totally exhausted. Mm -hmm. Again, I saw pastor coming. Yes. When I saw my pastor coming, mm -hmm. he took these three people, mm -hmm. he put them inside the grave, mm -hmm. he poured anointing oil on them, mm -hmm. again he alighted fire on them, mm -hmm. and then I saw them burning and turned to ashes, mm -hmm. and then the man of God again left. Mm -hmm. So I woke up. When I woke up, I was feeling good. good. I was feeling okay. okay. I was feeling like a person who is healed from sicknesses. Mm -hmm. I was worshiping mm -hmm. in the morning, thanking God for healing me, for fighting for me. Mm. So uh, in the morning around uh, 10 o'clock, the doctor came yes. to check on me and he said, ah, he saw I was good, I was okay, I was walking, I could eat myself. Because when I went to the hospital, I couldn't even eat. I was surviving by water. Mm. Drip. Mm. I was on drip, water drip. So I was surviving by the drip. Mm. But that day, I remember when I woke up in the morning, I was able to take porridge. I was able to take a cup of tea. So they, when the doctor came, they say, oh, now you are okay. We might release you tomorrow. 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 Mm. Oh. Brethren, that day was a disaster. The day that I thought that now I am healed, mm -hmm. tomorrow I am going back home. Mm -hmm. When it reached around 3 in the evening, mm -hmm. My body started to feel a lot of pain again, fresh pain. And this was very painful than ever. I could not even lift up my feet. I could not lift up my hand. I could not turn wherever I was sleeping. I was going through a lot of pain. I was shaking. Sometimes it come like cold, sometimes heat. And when I feel heat, it is heat as if you have been dipped into fire. When it cold comes, it is cold as if you have been poured on water. Cold, very cold water. Mm -hmm. So I started crying. So you started crying? Yes. Mm -hmm. Crying and crying and crying and calling for mercy, asking God to forgive me. But I realized one thing. I said, now this is not normal. This, this seems I am dying now. 
And I remembered we were, in the ward we were two ladies. There was a friend of mine who was also admitted in the ward. We were together. That day, afternoon at around uh, 12, she talked to me and asked me, Lillian, do you think we will die? And then I said, no, I don't think we will die. She said, let's continue praying. Paradiventure, God will mm -hmm. forgive us. Mm -hmm. If we have sinned, may God forgive us mm -hmm. so that we get out of this hospital. Mm -hmm. So at three, I was at a bad condition. She was also at a bad condition, the two of us. There, I was feeling a lot of pain. What I started to see, I started to see ushers. You know, in our church, our ushers have their uniforms. So for when they, they are serving in ushering, they put on their uniforms. So I was seeing ushers with their uniforms, with the offering baskets. They all surrounded my bed where I was. I was thinking, why are they there? But somehow, I felt it is because I have told the pastor that I am sick, so maybe the church is interceding for me. That is why I am seeing the, the, the ashes around me. Yes. The second person I saw was the pastor that I slandered. I started also seeing him within. The third person I saw, I saw all ladies that I used to plate their hair and to do their makeup. And these ladies, they were forcing me to plate their hairs the same way I was doing before I got sick. Some needed me to apply makeups on their face. Mm -hmm. Some needed me to apply cutex on their fingers, on their fingernails, on their toes. Mm -hmm. Some needed me to plait my hair and they are forcing me to do it. I am feeling pain, but I am feeling I must do it. They are forcing me to do it. The ashes are there. The pasta is there. Mm -hmm. These ladies are also there. Yeah. I cannot talk. Mm -hmm. I could not speak to anybody. So that condition went on like that. So I was interceding. I was calling upon God to forgive me. But I did not know. Yes, I am telling God to forgive me. Mm. For what? For what? I didn't know the sin that I have committed. Mm. But I was just asking God to forgive me. Mm. And uh, I was saying, God, even if I am dying, mm. don't accept my soul to get lost. Yes. To go to hell. Don't mm -hmm. allow me to go to hell. To hell. Those are what, what my words that I mm -hmm. was speaking. When it reached ar at around uh, six mm -hmm. in the evening, this woman died, and uh, she was taken out of the ward. Mm -hmm. She was taken to the mortuary. Your partner now? Yes, my partner. She was taken to another mm. hospital because the Wopa, they don't have a mortuary there. Mm. So being her relatives were there, they came to visit her in the evening. They took her out of mm. that place. Now I was alone yeah. from six. Mm. Fear came upon me. I knew this woman talked to me and asked me whether we will die or not. Now she is dead, so I am next. That is something that came into my mind. So I knew very well I am dying. Mm -hmm. But I was telling Jesus not to leave me. Not to leave my soul to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Not to accept my soul to perish. Mm -hmm. I was crying. I was feeling pain. I tell you, my brother, any sin that you commit in this world, if you don't repent, you will see that sin before you die. Any sin that you have never repented before you die, mm. you will see it. Mm. All things, those plating, yes. Oh, every I came, you will understand why I'm telling you this as we continue mm -hmm. listening. 
and uh, and uh, and uh, just sharing together the word of God. So I was in pain. I didn't understand why these ladies were all over around me, forcing me to plait their hairs, mm. to make, to do the makeups and all that. Mm. I didn't understand why the ashes were all around me. Mm. I didn't understand why the man of God that I slandered was also there. Mm. He was in pain. At uh, around eight o'clock, mm. there is a nurse who came to check on me. Mm. When he, she came to check on me, she found out that I was so bad. She tried to talk to me, but I couldn't respond. And I heard her saying she's going to call the doctor, of which I expected the doctor to come immediately. Mm -hmm. But in a few minutes, I was not seeing the doctor. Then I said, I can make it to go to the office of the doctor. Mm -hmm. So I came down from my bed. Mm -hmm. I gained some strength, and I went to the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. When I entered the doctor's office, he was there. He looked at me and told me, what do you want? I told him, I am feeling bad. And he told me, so what shall I do? What do you want me to do? Go back to the world. I don't want to see you here. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to say. I just started going back mm -hmm. to the world. So I went back to the world and lied on the bed. So immediately when I lied on the bed, now I was unable to do anything. I couldn't even cover myself. I can't lift up my arm. I can't lift up my leg, my feet. I cannot turn the other side. I am just there lying helpless, pain all over my body. I started crying bitterly, crying bitterly calling upon Jesus. I started remembering my daughter who is at school. I started saying, I am dying. Who will take care of my daughter? That was my cry. How will my mother feel when she hear that I am dead? I know, I knew I was dying. When you are in sin, my friend, when you have not repented, you will know. When you die, you will know I am dying. Mm -hmm. You will start thinking mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. different things, past life, mm -hmm. all, the, all those things. But when I was thinking about my mother, about my family, about my daughter, most, mostly my daughter, I was feeling a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And I had a voice speaking to me and telling me, stop crying for your daughter but to cry for your soul. Mm. I gained strength. I gained faith. And I said, this is the voice of God telling me to cry for my soul. So, I am sure Jesus is taking me to, he yeah. to heaven. To heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have heard mm. the voice speaking mm. to me to cry for my soul. Mm. And all along I have been crying, telling him to take care of my soul. I gained faith and said, now I'm going to heaven, I know. Mm. So I decided in my heart, I know when I die, I'm going to heaven. So I started crying for my soul, telling Jesus to, re to, 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 to have mercy upon me, to forgive me all sins. Immediately, when I was still crying, I saw three men. And these three men were looking horrible. Mm. They were looking like giants. Their fingernails were very long, very long. They came and then they take hold of my heart. Mm -hmm. I had them pulling my heart rigorously, very painful. Mm -hmm. And it was like when I, uh, like uh, right now, let's say, mm -hmm. I want to pull mm -hmm. out this hand. It out. Yes, to mm. pluck it out mm. by force. Mm. That is what they were doing. Tearing mm. the fresh. Yes, mm. with their fingers. Mm. And it was very painful. Mm. I was feeling pain. My heart was being plucked out very painfully without mercy. Mm -hmm. The more I cry, mm -hmm. the more they do it. The more I call upon Jesus, the more they do it. And it seemed like, like there was no breakthrough. 
you know, as a Christian, when you are praying, when there is breakthrough, you feel the breakthrough. But this time there was no breakthrough. Mm. And I knew now I am dying. And I knew now this one, this is not Jesus. This, it's like I am going to the other kingdom. Mm -hmm. But I kept on calling upon Jesus yes. to forgive me, mm. to take me to heaven. Mm. Because I was now a hundred percent, I am leaving the world. I called upon Jesus. I cried as they pluck out my heart, but they were not speaking to me. They were not speaking to me. Suddenly, they managed to pluck out my heart, mm -hmm. rigorously, very painful. Mm -hmm. The death of a sinner is painful. There is no rest. Mm -hmm. It is not resting. Mm -hmm. It is pain. It is painful when, when the, 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 the heart is now getting out, the spirit is getting out of the body. It is very painful. There is a struggle. Yes. I could feel now my, 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 my spirit coming out of my body. Well, that's when you are, you are, you are now moving. Yes. Body, the spirit is separated, separated from the body. From the body. And you are feeling a lot of My, pain. I tell you, Pastor, mm. that it's painful. Mm. That is the painful thing ever. Mm -hmm. When the mm. spirit is leaving the body mm. and you are in sin, in sin. it is painful. Mm. Because you saw those, dem those three demons. Yes. They are now pouring your, your, your heart mm. and pouring and plucking it out. Yes, and plucking and feel the pain. I was feeling so the pain. So it, it is a struggle. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is a struggle. Mm -hmm. Because what I realized, I was resisting. You are resisting. Yeah, mm -hmm. and while they were forcing me. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's like now we, mm -hmm. we are, are fighting. Yeah. So I saw my spirit getting out of my body, ascending up in darkness. In total, now you are darkness. ascending. Yeah, mm. and I looked well, back you are ascending up. up. I was down. no, mm. I was going up, but going it up. was in darkness. Total darkness. Yes, mm -hmm. but when I looked back on the bed, mm -hmm. I could see my body lying mm -hmm. on the bed. You can see your body now. Yeah. No meaning it is the spirit mm. seeing the body down lying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in this total darkness, mm. it was dark, 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 mm -hmm. dark. Loud. So when I was going, these three people were with me. And I was trying to struggle to go higher than them. But they were holding me tight. They didn't want to leave me. But me, I was calling on Jesus. Do not forsake me. From there, now I started saying, do not forsake me, Jesus. Do not leave me. Do not abandon me. So I just saw a little light. A little light just came. And when I saw the light, now I decided to go up. To follow that light, that little light. So these people remained here where there was darkness. And now I pursued and I went up. Yes. So I went up and I reached somewhere. The place where I reached was very glorious. Mm -hmm. It was very, very glorious. Mm -hmm. Light all over. I, no, not even light. I cannot say it was mm -hmm. light. I, let me use the word it was glorious. Mm -hmm. Because it was as... I cannot even... Um, I cannot even weigh it with the light of daytime. Yes. It was something different, right. something lighter, something so glorious than mm. daytime. And brighter than daytime. Brighter, mm. yes. Mm. So when I reached that place, mm. I didn't saw anybody. Mm -hmm. It was a strange land. Mm. I was asking myself where I am. How did it, I came to this place? I, now, at that place, I wasn't feeling pain. Yes. Yeah, I was okay. Mm -hmm. My body had already relaxed from pain. Mm -hmm. 
now i was thinking where i am i had forgotten how i reached that place mm. so my eyes were looking if i can see anybody then i looked forward and i saw i saw a certain building this building was very big very huge and very wide mm -hmm. i could not see the end but i could see the door and in front of this door i saw two angels the other angel on the right the other angel on the left so i just went straight to where the angels were yes ah uh, the angel who was on the right came and gave me a chair so he gave me a chair and i sat i sat on that chair again he brought another chair and uh, the chair that he brought next he put it just beside me on on my right hand side and the the chair was a little bit brighter made of gold mm -hmm. So I was thinking who is coming to sit here. I expected that the angel is coming to sit on that chair. Mm. Immediately I saw my pastor, Reverend Gitai. Mm. He came and he sat on the chair. Mm. After sitting on the chair, I looked beside pastor. I saw another man and this man was also on the right hand side of pastor Gitai, but he was up he was up not down we were sitting but he was up yes so this man when i tried to look upon him i realize he's a man he is big even if i look at him like this mm -hmm. i could not see him clearly he was so glorious he was clothed in the sun he looked like he is covered with the bright mm -hmm. sunshine yes in the sun mm -hmm. so if i try to look upon him like this mm -hmm. i could not i just turned my head down yes. and uh, he spoke to pastor mm -hmm. he asked pastor gitai mm -hmm. lilian is here she is sick she is surrounded with the uh, idols idols yes mm -hmm. and uh, devourers where is her tithe the idol yes no not the angel the angels were standing at the door right at the door but this man that was talking to the pastor was just where the pastor was sitting up so i saw pastor gitai taking some money from the offering baskets and now my mind i remembered why i was seeing ashes or around surrounding me with the offering baskets. Yes. So he took some money from the offering basket and I saw him giving it up. So this person who was up he took the money he opened a book mm. and he looked in the book he counted the money and he said this is not enough. This is only three quarter. Now they are counting the tithe. Yes. That you used to give to the yes, church. Yes, to the church. Mm -hmm. He was counting. Mm -hmm. After counting, he confirmed in the book. Mm -hmm. And then he spoke to the pastor. Mm -hmm. This is only three quarter. Three quarter. Where is a quarter? Mm -hmm. And I, I heard pastor responding saying, a quarter Lillian didn't give to me. So after responding, he left. I was left alone there and uh, this man who talked with the pastor gave me a book a very small book written Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 to 12 can we read yes, uh, oh, yes so you are given a book yeah the book of Malachi 3 10 to 12 to 12 mm. remember say this Bring ye all the tithe into the into the storehouse mm -hmm. that there may be meat in my house mm -hmm. and prove me now here with say the lord of hosts if i will not open your windows of heaven mm -hmm. and pour you out of a blessing mm -hmm. that there shall not be a room enough to receive mm -hmm. and i will rebuke the devourer for your sake and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground mm -hmm. neither shall your vine cast the her fruits before the time in the field says the lord mm -hmm. and all the nations shall call you blessed 
For ye shall be a delightful sound land, says the Lord of hosts. Now, brethren, to my surprise, mm. when I read the scripture, yes. this verse 10 that says, Bring you all the tithes mm. into the storehouse, yes. that there may be meat in mine house. All the tithe. Yes, all, all, tithe. all the tithe. Not some. Not some. And now you are being accused. Of yes. Not all. Yes. There's some part of the tithe that you have stolen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, mm -hmm. This scripture, mm -hmm. only this verse 10, the first corners were written in red. In red. And in Bring uh, all tied into storehouse. Yes. In red. In red. In red. And in capital letters. And in capital letters. Yes. Meaning God uh, values his word. Yeah. Reading this scripture, mm -hmm. me myself has started thinking, where did I took the tithes? I started thinking. Immediately, I thought of a certain church. I went in that church, and uh, I gave 500 shillings as tithe. Yes. When I just thought about that church, mm -hmm. I saw that pastor of that church. Mm -hmm. She came mm -hmm. and sat on that chair mm -hmm. where the pastor, my pastor, was sitting. Mm -hmm. She just removed only 500 mm -hmm. shillings, and she gave it. She was a woman. She was a woman. Mm -hmm. She gave it, mm. and then she also left. Yes. After she left, mm. I was I saw mm. the man who was up after receiving five hundred. She counted and looked in the book. Yes. After looking the book, she again gave he again he gave me Malachi mm. chapter three, Boston. verse ten to twelve. Bring all the tithe in the house of the Lord. <laughs> yeah. So, so after reading it the second time. I started thinking again. I remembered another church also. I went there and I gave 700 shillings for tithe. Immediately when I remembered that church, my mind was transferred back to the world. Mm -hmm. And I saw the pastor of that church in a hotel. Mm -hmm. He took money from the offering basket. Mm -hmm. He bought chips. Mm -hmm. He bought chicken. He started eating chips and chicken mm. with some of friends in the hotel. And after eating, he again came back to the offering basket. He took the remaining money and uh, he loaded credit. Mm -hmm. Some airtime in his phone, so he started communicating. Mm. After seeing that, I was taken back again to Malachi chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 10 to 12. Bring all the tithe to the storehouse. Yes. yes. After reading it, this man who was up, he gave me an envelope. An envelope? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, this envelope belongs to Christian Foundation Fellowship. Mm -hmm. It is an envelope for tithing. Yes. In our church, the envelope for tithing is different mm -hmm. with the other offerings. Mm -hmm. It is only for tithes only. Mm -hmm. And remember, we don't write our names on the envelope, mm. even our phone numbers mm. on the envelope of tithe. Yes. So there is no way you can say, my pastor knows how much I give for tithe. Yes. He does not know. Mm. But these things I realized, once we give, mm -hmm. it is Being recorded, recorded mm. above mm. for the day of judgment. So, when he gave me the envelope, he asked me, this envelope, mm. on 6th November mm. 2016, this envelope had 2,000 shillings. But right now, it has only 1,000 shillings. Where is another 1,000 shillings? Mm. And then I remembered that date. Date 6th November 2016. It is the date I received my salary of 20,000. Yes. And immediately after receiving my salary, mm -hmm. I separated the 2,000 shillings for tithe mm -hmm. from 20,000 Kenya shillings. Yes. I spared 2,000 separate. Mm -hmm. So when I came to church a few days later, because I was working a, a little I was working in Naivasha mm -hmm. and my church is in Nairobi. So I had to save the money until the day I will come to church. church. 
to church. Surprisingly, this record was taken the very date that I received my salary. Yes. That surprised me. Mm -hmm. That is the date that I was given. Not the date that I paid the tithe in the church. The date that I received salary of 20,000. Mm -hmm. So I started remembering how actually this day I received such amount. Where, where did I took all the tithe? Where is 1,000? And I remembered when I went to church, I had pledged to give 1,000 for the project. Mm -hmm. So the chairman of the project announced and said that Sunday was the deadline. Yes. For those people who pledged, mm -hmm. fulfill your pledges. Ah, me, I said, it's okay. I have 2,000 because I had no any other money. I can divide. Mm -hmm. 1,000 in the envelope of project and 1,000 in the envelope of tithe. Mm -hmm. You divided the tithe now? Yes, mm -hmm. I divided the tithe. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this envelope exactly had only 1,000 Kenya shillings yes. I was shown. Mm -hmm. And then I was taken back. Now the envelope in heaven has been opened? Yes. The no. envelope, no. exactly the same way mm. the envelope of Christian Foundation yes. Fellowships are mm. designed mm. with my 1,000 shillings mm. inside. Mm. Remaining one, another 1,000. Yeah. So you did not fulfill the all. Yeah. You did not take all the I, Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't take all. Mm -hmm. Then I learned mm. I was not supposed mm. to divide this money. You are not supposed to divide the tithe. Mm. Although it it was going mm. to do the same work of God. Mm. But tithe is tithe. Yeah. You cannot divide tithe mm. to give it as an another offering. Yes, that is what I was learning you by that also time. You cannot give tithe as, uh, to the poor. To or the poor. To, to other packages yes. of the offering no, or no, whatever, no, 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 all no, that's no. giving. Tithe is tithe. It is tithe. Mm. And it is all. Mm. And it is full. Mm -hmm. And there are records. Mm -hmm. Every tithe you ever given, it, it is, is recorded in heaven. In heaven. Mm -hmm. So after that, he never gave me the book again. He spoke to me. Mm -hmm. Bring all your tithes mm -hmm. in my storehouse. In and my that storehouse. voice, mm -hmm. it was not a voice mm -hmm. that you would like to listen to it again mm -hmm. for the second time. Mm -hmm. And after he talked to me, mm -hmm. the light disappeared. I looked up to see this person who has been talking to me, he was nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. I looked the angels, they were nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. I checked to see the seat of the pastor, it mm -hmm. was nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I was in total darkness now. I was in darkness, sitting on the chair like the way I'm sitting right now. So I thought, what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. And uh, in my mind, I was thinking, after all these things, heaven is going to be opened. I'm going to enter into heaven. Mm -hmm. So I was in darkness. I don't know where I am. I am confused. Pain has come all over my body. So I decided to stand up. I stood up. When I stood up like this, this is now the chair. Mm -hmm. I stood up like this, looking all over this side. I am in pain. And I saw something like wind. This wind like a tornado, it was just coming towards me. So my mind, I, I said, I have to run. I wanted, exactly I wanted to run, but I didn't run. I just lifted up my left foot. Mm. I, one step like this. The second step, I was somewhere else. Different with this place. I, fi I found myself at a very weird place. Mm. A place that I didn't know I was where. Mm. I was feeling a lot of pain. 
just lifting your your, your, your yes. hand up. Yes. No, my foot. My, your foot. Yes. Your foot. Yes. Now you find yourself that you are in hell. I I didn't realize it is hell yeah. first mm. because it was like a wilderness. Mm -hmm. It looked like exactly a wilderness. Mm -hmm. Nothing moving, nothing happening. Mm -hmm. It is silent. Yes, no. No, no house, mm -hmm. no trees, no, no animals. Mm -hmm. And right. it is just a wilderness yeah. where nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. So I started asking myself where I am. How did I come at this place? What is happening? Mm. Why am I again feeling pain? And now I tell you the pain was too much. Too much. It was extra. Mm. Extra pain. Mm. I preferred better the time I was in the hospital. You preferred? Better the time I was in the hospital. Mm. This was now double pain. Mm. It was painful. So I, was, I remembered I have to call upon Jesus. So I was calling upon Jesus. Jesus, help me. Help me, Jesus. Do not forsake me. Jesus, forgive me. Help me, Jesus. Cleanse me with your blood. All those I mentioned, calling Jesus, but there is no response. I'm not seeing anybody. Suddenly, I started hearing some voices coming from underground. Mm. I had like people who are crying, people like they are fighting, it was like some were running, it was like, have you ever, ha have you ever seen a Kenyan army with their boots yes. when they run the sound, mm -hmm. that sound? Yeah, the sound of yes, yes, I was hearing a sound like that one and it was very loud and I heard some people crying wow. but I am not seeing these people but I feel this sound is coming from underground so what I did I said let me look down and see where these sounds are coming from when I looked down like this I saw a very big house in front of me and the house was very black and it was very big and it was opened. The door was opened. Very big door. It looks like, like the Indian shops, they open somebody, touch this side and another person this side and then they open it like this. Yes. So it was big. To look inside, I saw fire. And then this building that was underground, it just came up like a lift just came up like a lift and then we faced each other like this. Mm. I was looking at it now like this and there is fire inside this soul I could see. When I saw the fire, I realized I am in hell. I knew this is hell. That is now where my pain increased. I started calling up. I was groaning in my heart crying bitterly, calling upon Jesus to come take me out of that place. Now you're in hell. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I have realized that I am in hell. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking, mm -hmm. I really called upon Jesus before I came at this place. Mm -hmm. Why could Jesus refuse mm -hmm. to, save to save me? Why could he leave me to come at this place? Mm -hmm. And then I realized it is because of eating tithe. So I started, forgive me, forgive me, Jesus, forgive me for eating tithe, forgive me, don't let me go into hell. So the more I, keep, I kept on calling on him, I'm also looking inside hell to see what is happening there. Yes. I tell you, I saw peoples in hell. Peoples are too many in hell. Mm -hmm. Many, many mm -hmm. in hell. Mm -hmm. You saw? Ladies mm -hmm. in hell. Mm -hmm. Many ladies in hell. African or white people? Mixed. Yeah, mixture. Yes. White, black. Yes. All races. All, there all there. races. Mm -hmm. Ladies. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe. I have been taken on the side of ladies. Mm -hmm. I thought the side of 
men is another side they are in fire they are crying there is no mercy they don't have hope they are eating their tears as they cry so when i was trying to think where are the men the part of men where are men i'm not seeing men i saw a group yes it looked like a circle and this circle the group that was there were young boys around 12 years to 20 they were a mixture of uh, youth 12 years around to 20 there so in the teenagers in that group i saw men before i i i, I know why they were there on the other side i saw wild animals in fire yes and the wild animals all of them come out of fire they came because i was just standing at the gate they came and they surrounded me all over my body all types of wild animals the hyena the leopards the snakes the dogs the you know cats and dogs are pets but even pets thought that those animals that we don't eat as kenyans i never saw them so you saw the unclean animal the, un- the unclean animals Snake. yes snakes all that mm-hmm. but uh, yeah Dog. yeah mm-hmm. animals like cows sheep, sheep no yes. i didn't saw them so these animals wherever i was standing mm-hmm. i was seeing even frogs mm-hmm. lizards yeah. rats yes. now this is small small reptiles yes. i can call them they are reptiles isn't it yes. these reptiles they were all over my body mm-hmm. this body except my head only mm-hmm. all over my body they covered my body mm-hmm. the, the the lizards the the, the frogs yeah they are unclean spirits the rats mm-hmm. all over my body everywhere mm-hmm. and this other they, they were just all over my body walking all over my body mm-hmm. and the wild animals these big animals they were surrounding me they were laughing yes. they laugh they laugh at me and they greet each other with a high five so they are speaking yeah they mm. speak mm. they say high five to each other mm. as they laugh at me mm. it was painful it was torture it was torment mm. so me they were mocking me they were mocking me mm. at this stage where while i was there mm. in my real life i used to put on trousers mm. i used to apply makeups mm. i used to plate my hair mm. all all sorts of beauty yeah. because as i have told you i was a, be- a beautician you are a beautician yes a beautician, is there a beautician and a makeup artist It's the same thing. The same yeah. Mm-hmm. It is the same thing. Mm-hmm. So they surrounded me. I saw the cats were pulling cutex. I used mm-hmm. to apply cutex mm-hmm. on my nails. They were pulling cutex rigorously. They insert their nails, their their, their teeth inside the cuticles. Here. And they pull. Sometimes they 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 touch the nail they pull it rigorously very painful i felt pain i cry the more i cry the more they do it and other animals were mocking me i remember in our community while we were still young children when you want to mock somebody yes we used to do like this so all animals were doing to me like this they were mm. mocking me mm. i cry mm. i call upon jesus <laughs> the monkeys laugh mm. the monkeys is, in fact the monkeys were laughing at me mostly mm. mostly the monkeys i didn't know why they were laughing at me mm. so the monkeys came mm. they started pulling my uh, eyebrows yeah, I because i used to, to apply to apply to i used to, to apply wanja mm. i pencil mm. can call it i pencil yes. 
they started pulling my eyebrows mm -hmm. taking out the 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 the, the, the eye pencil oh, they're pulling you yes mm -hmm. with their nails mm -hmm. they were very sharp mm -hmm. and very painful mm -hmm. others were wiping out the makeup that mm -hmm. i had mm -hmm. Others were taking out the lipstick that I used to apply on my mouth. Mm -hmm. I used, I liked the purple lipstick. Mm -hmm. So they were pulling it out rigorously. Uh, yeah, Very as if they are ripping your, your, your face. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So I asked, why is this happening to me? Mm -hmm. Why? Immediately, when I asked in, to, in my mind, why is this happening to me? Why are these animals doing this to me? I saw Jeremiah. Chapter 3, mm -hmm. chapter 4 and verse 30. Yes. That is the scripture that I saw mm -hmm. while I was crying. I am asking myself, why is this happening mm -hmm. to me? Yes. I saw the scripture. And not just you see the scripture only, mm -hmm. the scripture with the full words. You saw Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30. 4 30. Yeah, it came to my mind. The way it is written. Mm -hmm. Where well, the Bible says this in the, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30. Verse 30. I'm reading. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail. No, and no. the anguish Chapter as 4 verse 30. Oh, that, that is. Yeah, verse and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou, what will thou uh, do? Though thou clothe thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest their face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. They, they love us, will despise thee, they will seek thy life. Now, here at this gate, Yes, they speak about the, the painting, painting, about the ornaments, yes, the gold, about, yeah, about the, the dressing, about the dressing, mm -hmm. in Jeremiah chapter, chapter 4, 4 verse 30. 30. Yeah, so, uh -huh. when I was there at the gate, mm. there was a difference, mm. my dressing code. Mm. Because the time my spirit was coming out of my body, mm -hmm. my, I, I was in a, a whitish, a whitish garment it was not white mm. it was somehow cream and it had some dots but when i reached at this gate of hell i was not in that garment mm. i saw my body i was dressing a trouser jeans yes. i was in a jeans trouser i was with a sleeveless top I was, I was having makeup on my face, mm -hmm. lipstick, yani everything the way I used to yeah. decorate myself, my mm -hmm. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Your lifestyle. That is how I was at mm -hmm. that place. Mm -hmm. So after seeing this scripture, and then you know I am here, I am feeling pain, I cry, I concentrate on these wild animals, mm -hmm. but I also wanted to see yes. what is happening inside. Mm -hmm. So the teenagers that I saw in a circle, yes. I saw them dancing. Mm -hmm. They were dancing with very dirty demons. Mm -hmm. And I asked myself, why are these teenagers dancing with these dirty demons? Mm -hmm. And then I saw the circle at a place they were, mm -hmm. there were some lights like disco lights blinking. But I realized it was in a church mm -hmm. and it was a dancing team. Mm -hmm. I and so you see everything. The disco rights. The disco rights. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. They were dancing team. They were dancing team. Yes. In the church. Yes. Uh -huh. They were those who <coughs> are in the dancing team. So I understood yeah. that it was yeah. the dancing teams mm. in the, cha the church. In the church. Mm. Now from there, mm. again I saw another group of ladies mm -hmm. in a circle also. Mm -hmm. And in this circle, these ladies were also dancing. Yes. And when I looked at them, they were dancing with the demons. Mm -hmm. The demons are stinking. Yes. They are dirty. Mm -hmm. They are forcing these ladies to dance. Mm -hmm. And they were putting on high heels. So I asked myself, why are these ladies dancing here? Yes. 
with the high heels. Mm -hmm. Immediately, in my mind, I had Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. Isaiah chapter 3. Chapter 3. Verse 16. Verse 16. Mm, 17. 16, 17. The mm. says, Moreover, the Lord says, Because the daughters of Zion are ah, haughty, mm -hmm. and walk with stretch for the necks and wanton eyes, walking in mincing as they go and making and tinkling with their feet, therefore the Lord is mighty with a, a scab, the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their sacred parts. Praise Jesus. It speaks about them. So, so, so yeah, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking, dancing, yeah. Reading. I started realizing mm -hmm. when I the scripture came into my mind. Moreover, the Lord says, because the daughters of Zion are hot yes. and walking with the stretched mm. fourth neck. Mm. When a lady puts on a high heels, high heels. actually you walk with your neck right upright like this mm. yeah, you feel eh? you feel sometimes you feel very comfortable you are the only yeah. person mm -hmm. so they were dancing with those high heels, high heels. in hell mm. and then i realized it is wrong making a tinkling with your feet a tinkling mm. when you mm. walk you tinkle mm. your feet you means mm. as yes. you go all that shaking your body, shaking your body. Mm. And I realize, okay, it is wrong mm. to put on high heels. It is wrong to put on high heels. To put on high heels. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, I kept on crying, mm -hmm. crying, crying. When I was crying, I saw again um, a division between these people who are in hell, in fire. Yes. On the left, they were peoples, and I realized these peoples were not born again. Mm -hmm. They didn't accept Jesus Christ in yes. their life. Yes. And on the right side, I realized these people on the right side, they were Christians who were born again. Yes. But they sinned. Mm -hmm. After receiving Christ, mm -hmm. after being born again, they sinned and they never rep mm -hmm. repented. So they went to hell. Mm -hmm. And I realized also the torture was different. Mm -hmm. The torture of the people who were on the right hand was severe than the torture of the people on the left. The people on the left were clapping. They are burning. They were clapping. They were coming to welcome me. I saw them coming to grab me to take me mm. to fire. At the same time, they were laughing at the people on the right side. But these people on the right side, they were crying, being tortured, but they, somehow it was like they need to be helped to get out of fire. They were looking at me doing like this. They, they were not talking to me, but I could see with signs. Like they need my help yes. to take them out of that fire, of which it is impossible. Impossible. The people on the, on the left hand side were also mocking them. They were also in fire, they are burning, but they are mocking these ones. So here I am crying, I am in pain. But I, am, I know I am in hell. I am just on the waiting to, eh, to enter into hell. Another group that I saw after the ladies in high hills, I saw the ladies with hair attachments, mm -hmm. weaves, weaves, human hairs, mm -hmm. braids, mm -hmm. those three types. The hairs were burning, the human hairs, they were burning, they just burst fire just burst on the head of somebody and that weave or braid it burns non-stop it burns and it is not any it, it does not change into ashes yes it burns continually continually on the head mm. 
these people are crying, these ladies are crying, they are being burned. And then I remembered, you know, when I saw them being burned, I feel the fire on my head. Yes. I feel the heat. So I also cry bitterly. And I think, I say, why? Why? Why these things are, being, are burning? Why? This is just a hair. This is just a hairstyle. Mm -hmm. And then I, 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 I saw First Timothy mm -hmm. chapter 2 verse 9. Yes. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Chapter 2 verse 9. Yeah. Two nine, the Bible says this. Uh, in like manner, also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with their with their shame with their shame face nakedness, and so so brisity, not with the broided hair or gold or pills or costly arrays, not with the broided hair or gold or pills or co or costly array. So. Here, after seeing the scripture, mm, my eyes captured not with braided yes. hair. Braided hair. Yes. So mm. I knew braiding hair mm. is not good. Mm. Braiding hair does not glorify God. God. Mm. And then after that, I saw another circle where ladies were also burning. And the ladies were those ladies who are dressed in female trousers, mm. mini skirts, mini skirts, mini dresses, tumbo cuts, tumbo cuts, mm. bare back dresses, the sleeveless. Open dresses. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The sleeveless dresses. Mm. They are in the same circle. Mm. The trouser brings out fire, very big fire that comes from the trouser. Mm. And that and the, the, the ladies were burning just from here. Mm from the waist where you put on a trusser coming down. Yes. And the fire comes out very big. Mm. If it's a tumbo cut, mm. you burn from here mm -hmm. up. Just that part mm. that you... You are just breathing. Yes. Mm. The mini skirt also the same. Mm. So they cry, they try to pull out those mm. trousers, those mini skirts, those naked, naked mm. dresses, mm. but the dresses are not coming out. Mm. And they, know, they, and they are not burning, turning into ashes. You know, right now, yes. when we are light fire on this uh, handkerchief, yes. it will burn mm. and it will turn into ashes. Yes. But those ones who are not turning into ashes, mm. it burns, yes. it is burning you, and it is not turning yes. into ashes. Mm. It keeps on water. burning. Yeah. So they were crying. Yeah, and the demons are... that light fire upon them, they laugh and they, 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 they greet each other with a high five. Mm. Wow. So I knew I am being shown this because I am also going inside there. Mm -hmm. Because you used to apply those things to yeah. be the mm. uh, makeup artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kept on crying. Mm. I just kept on calling upon Jesus to help me, to take me out of that place. That was my cry. So I looked uh, on the other side and I saw this woman who was in the hospital with me. Yes. The same woman who died at six in the evening. Mm -hmm. I saw this woman in fire. Mm -hmm. Her head was burning. Mm -hmm. The demons were surrounding him all around. Yes. And these demons were not, you know, I realized there was, I was seeing a difference between human being and demons. But these people who surrounded this woman were in form of human beings. Mm -hmm. And these human beings were Rastafarians. Rastafarians. Yes, these people mm -hmm. who put on, uh, who make dreadlocks on, on their Dread head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this woman, I wondered why she is in hell. And I asked, I asked her, why are you here? She looked at me and said, I am here because of these dreadlocks. dreadlocks. Yeah, she had dreadlocks on her head. So when she died, she had 
dreadlocks on her head. Mm -hmm. So the demons were pulling those dreadlocks rigorously. Sometimes they take a bottle, they break a bottle and they take those pieces of a bottle, of a broken bottle. Yes. They cut the, the, the head, they cut the, the dreadlocks, the dreadlocks fall down, they are burning, she's bleeding, her head was bleeding, her head was big, she's crying. The demons say this as our property. Yes. Those Rastafarians, they were saying this is our property. Yes. As they pull those dreadlocks, they say this is our property. Mm. So this woman was crying and she looked at me and she told me one thing. When you go back, go and tell my children not to put this hairstyle on their head. Mm. The and I remembered while we were in the hospital, we exchanged the phone numbers with her mother. Mm -hmm. We, get, we got very close mm -hmm. with her mother. She was helping me while I was in the hospital. Yes. So we exchanged the, na so the numbers. Mm -hmm. Funny, something, something, I didn't know something was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I did not exchange my phone number mm -hmm. with this woman who was sick, but yes. I exchanged with the mother. So yes. when she told me, I remembered I will call mm -hmm. her mother. Well, yes. She told me, go and tell my children. She had three yes. children, mm -hmm. a son mm -hmm. and two mm -hmm. daughters. So after she spoke to me, mm -hmm. I looked on the other side mm -hmm. and I also saw another woman mm -hmm. so, who uh, was a friend about, of mine. About the, about the dead rocks. Mm -hmm. So the demons, they, they were saying that those belong to them. Yeah. Their properties. Yeah. They were and saying those are, dreadlocks are their properties. Also the demons, they do have them all. Yeah. The demons. Not the demons. Yeah. This were in, these demons were in form of human beings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they were just like human beings yes. were living on earth. Mm -hmm. But they had dreadlocks. They had dreadlocks. Yes. So they were pulling, saying, this is our property. Mm -hmm. But I realized these are not human beings. Mm -hmm. These yeah. are demons. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I looked another side and I saw also another woman. Mm -hmm. This woman was a very close friend of mine. Mm -hmm. She was my client. Mm -hmm. I used to plate her hair. Mm -hmm. She was a very rich woman. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. She was in fire. Mm. And this woman died the year 2012. 2012. Yeah. Mm. Me, I was in hell 2017. Mm. I saw her, she was black. Mm. Very black. Yes. But I was able to recognize her. Mm. She looked at me because the time I used to plait her hair, I was telling her to, to accept Christ because she was not born again. Yes. Anytime I could share with her the word of God, she was laughing and telling me, Lillian, you want me to, 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 to be born again, to live a life like yours? Yes. This is not a life. Not yeah, I cannot follow you to your church to be born again. She was laughing. So when she saw me, she told me, Lillian, little did I listen to your words. The time you were telling me to accept Christ, if I could have received Christ right now, I could have not been here in this torment and in this fire. And she asked me one question. You, you were born again. Why are you here now? I had nothing. I had no answer to tell her. I felt guilty. To hear that, she is asking me, she's in hell because she was not born again. Yes. But me, what am, why am I there? Mm. And I was born again. Yes. I had no answer. I had nothing totally to speak. Mm. She looked at me with grief. And now something that grieved me very much. All the hairstyles that I used to plate her, mm -hmm. I saw them. I saw the way she was being tortured with those hairstyles. Mm -hmm. The demons were breaking bottles 
After breaking the bottle, they take pieces, mm. they cut the hair, they cut the weaves, they mm. cut those human hair because I was ma she was very rich, so I was making her very expensive hairstyles, very expensive additions on her head. And when they are cutting, they are cutting even the, 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 the skin. The flesh, yes, the flesh. they cut the flesh, mm. she's bleeding, the head is big, it mm. is black, she's mm. black, she's crying. Which side, which side are you, are you, are you making? Sometimes the hair braids, I was braiding her hair rasters. Mm. Sometimes I was weaving her hair. Mm. Sometimes I was attaching her with the human hairs, this mm. called human hairs. Human hair. Yes. Extension. Extensions. Hair. Yes, mm. those are all sorts of artificial mm. hairs. Mm. So when I saw her, I started I cried for her. Mm. Now I was feeling when I saw her being tortured concerning the hairstyles, mm -hmm. I was feeling I'm the one. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. see, yes, I am the reason why she's being tortured like that. She looked at me. The demons, some demons, they were picking her from down. They lift her up, mm -hmm. up. When she reached up, they lift, they lift her up. She fall down. When she fall down, the demons that are down, they pick her. Now they start cutting the head with the bottle. They cut the flesh. They cut those hairs. Wow. Like they are slaughtering. Yeah. Mm. She cries. She was crying. She was in pain. But she looked at me again and she told me, Go and tell my husband to accept Jesus Christ. I don't need my husband to come here in this torment. Mm -hmm. And she told me, my husband sacrificed me. My husband offered me as a sacrifice. Go and tell him to accept Jesus Christ. If she doesn't accept Jesus Christ, she will die and he will die and he will come here in this torment. Another thing she added, she told me, go and tell my husband to withdraw the case with the doctor. Because this woman died under operation. She was being operated. So the doctor, I think she operated wrongly. Um, she went in the hospital to give birth. So in that procedure of taking the child out, the doctor... I don't know what happened, but the doctor cut the, the eye of this, the, the, young, the young baby, the baby. So I think the husband, what the husband did after the death of the wife, the husband filed a case against the doctor. So she told me, go and tell him to withdraw the case. It was not the mistake of the doctor. This child was also supposed to be sacrificed. Yes. He told me, she told me, go and tell my husband to withdraw the case. And tell my husband to receive Jesus mm. Christ. Now I came back to my senses. This woman, the husband sacrificed her. Mm. But... The torture she was going through, yes. she doesn't feel that the husband has to go there. Even if it is you. I am the one who has made mm -hmm. you to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Will you need me to go to heaven while you are suffering in hell? Mm -hmm. With, our With our common thinking. Mm -hmm. But people who are in hell, mm -hmm. they feel for those who made them to go there. That because is what, what I learned. Because of what they are passing they through. They don't wish them to come there. Yes. Mm. They feel for their loved ones mm. not to go there. And that is the truth because in the, in the Razaros, I want to say about the rich man Razaro, mm -hmm. when he was there, yeah. he said to Abraham that who will go and warn my brothers, they are, they, they are here, that the hell exists, they are, they are, there is fire here. They said, but that is for them. So when you connect with the woman who had dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. She told me the same thing, the to same go thing. and warn her children. Her mm -hmm. This woman is also telling me to go and warn the husband yes. to accept Jesus Christ. Yes. 
So after I have talked with that woman, as I kept on crying and calling upon Jesus Christ, I looked at my right hand side, outside hell now, and I saw a certain servant of God whom I knew. A servant of God who was radically preaching about holiness and repentance. And when I saw him, I saw him dressed in a red t-shirt. And the t-shirt was written on repentance is a must in white yeah. color. So when I saw him, repentance is a must. Mm. I realized it's a must. It's a must. Mm. I now have to repent. Mm. Now I started repenting there, but I knew I was repenting against wildness, yes. robbing God, mm. slandering the man of God. Yes. Those three things. Those three things. The t-shirt of this man of God was written, repentance is a must three times. Three times. Yeah. In front three times and backwards also three times. So I started repenting from tithe, wildness, slandering, those three th mm. things. So I repented, I repented, and while I continue to repent, I saw that gate being closed. Mm -hmm. The gate of hell was closed. Was closed. Yeah. Now after the gate of hell was closed, I continued. No, before it was closed, these animals, white animals, they went back. They all left. They went back to fire. And then the gate was now closed. Mm -hmm. So I continued repenting, 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 telling God to forgive me for all those things, for all those wildness things, anything that I could remember. So in that uh, situation, while I was, I was repenting, I just saw my spirit coming back. I saw my spirit coming back and I just again entered my body that was lying on the bed. Mm. When I saw my spirit entering my body, there was something like a shake-up. I felt that the house was like it was shaking. Mm. I felt another glory, another glory. Yeah, mm. and strength. Mm. The house was shaking. I felt very strong. Mm. And I was sweating. And then I woke up. I opened, I, let me say I opened my eyes. Mm. When I opened my eyes, I could not understand where I was. Back to life. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know where I was. But I realized yes. when my, bod my spirit was leaving the body, when I saw my body lying on the bed, yes. I was not covered. But when I opened my eyes, yes. I find somebody came and covered me mm. you you had with the bed sheets. Mm. So I was there, mm. helpless, mm. tired, mm. no talking, can, could not open my mouth. So I gained a little strength. And I checked my phone. When I checked my phone, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. So I just, I heard that uh, my spirit kept on uh, repenting, praying, but it was only repentance. I was telling Jesus to, to forgive me, to forgive my sins. So uh, in the morning at around uh, 6 o'clock, the nurses that were on duty overnight, they came together with the nurses they were, were reporting mm. during the, the day. The day. Mm. So when they reached where I was, I saw this nurse came and opened this uh, bed sheet. Mm. And she, I saw her shaking like she was afraid. What has happened? Mm. She called me. I looked at her, but I could not do what? I could not speak. Mm -hmm. So she, they, all, both of them, they went out running. Mm -hmm. They get out running. I because saw them you, running. You, you, are, you, are, you are dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So when they came back, they came back with the doctor. The same doctor that I went to the office mm. and he told me to get out. Mm. So when they came, mm. this nurse was telling the other nurse, me now what do I do? Mm. The nurse that was uh, on duty overnight. Mm. So I heard the doctor saying, I am the one who made this me mistake. He started regretting. Mm. He said, I heard him saying, I was to come and check on her. Mm. I didn't know this will happen. Mm. So he tried to examine me again, but he was shaking, he was afraid, he was sweating. When he touched the files, the files were falling down. He put off his uh, clothes, everything, the pen, and he went back to the office like around 20 minutes yes and then he came back so when he came back i think his mind was now okay he started examining me again but you know i could not talk this mouth i could not open but my eyes were seeing mm. my ears were hearing mm. whatever they were so, saying mm. so the doctor examined me and uh, he instructed the nurses to come and give me a certain injection. So they came, they gave me an injection mm. in uh, like one hour, less than one hour. Mm. I was now responding mm. to the medicine, mm. although I was tired. And uh, I was not even remembering what happened. I was just there. Mm. So they kept on checking me now and then, now and then, now and then. They kept checking on me. Mm -hmm. At around uh, three in the evening, I was some, somehow now I could open my mouth and maybe speak a word. I could not speak a sentence, yes. just a word. I pause, another word, I pause. So, this at three, I started feeling well, and then I started remembering what happened mm. to me. I started recognizing every situation, everything that I went through. Yes. And I started asking myself, first thing, tight. Mm. Tight. Why? I started realizing all the faults that I was doing, mm. everything. I started know, recognizing how I was in hell, how I went to, to the judgment seat, everything that happened now came back mm. to mind. So, you know, somehow these phones are helping us when you don't have the Bible. Yeah. So I started remembering every scripture, every scripture that I was shown in heaven and in hell. Mm. So I googled the scripture and read and read and read and I understood, I understood. So that night I slept very well mm. until tomorrow morning I was getting better and better. Yes. Now the following day when it reached exactly at 3 yes. p.m. I started feeling the pain. Mm -hmm. I started feeling severe pain. Now I said, oh my God, what have I done? I have repented for eating tithe, for wildness, mm -hmm. for slandering the man of God. Yes. Now what it is. Mm -hmm. So God have mercy, mm -hmm. have mercy upon me. And you know, in all this thing, there is no way I remembered I called on judgment. I never remembered that. And judgment is judgment. Russia's judgment. Mm -hmm. Nothing that God can left behind. So I started crying. When I was crying, lying on this bed, I saw the pastor that I slandered again so i was like okay when i saw him i kept on repenting and uh, somebody came 
this man who came he came and he hold my neck he twisted my neck round and my neck turned and looked the other side painful very painful and now i knew i am dying i am going but one thing i was being encouraged that because i have repented now even if i die i'm going to heaven what no way i wasn't going to heaven so i said why am dying this like this why am i feeling pain again and uh, my i have told you my neck was turned twisted and turned to the other side i looked on the wall and i saw unforgiveness, unforgiveness. written in red in capital letters on the wall unforgiveness i started remembering Is there anybody in my life that I have never forgiven? Who is this person? Yes. Who is it? This man of God. Mm. This pastor. Yes. That I slandered and I refused to forgive him. Yes. And when I saw him, there was an angel standing beside him. So the angel spoke to this pastor. Yes. I tell you, a man of God is a man of God. whatsoever it is the angel didn't spoke to me the angel spoke to the pastor and asked him what did you did to lilian so the man of god explained everything what happened how it started until the time we we, we came to misunderstanding each other he explained everything Now the angel turned to me and told me, "Have you heard what he have said?" I said, "Yes, I have heard." And he told me, "But you must forgive him." So after he spoke to me and said, "But you must forgive him." Again I saw this man that I saw outside hell. Yes. This evangelist was preaching holiness with the same red t-shirt written on repentance is a must. So I started repenting on unforgiveness forgiveness and forgiveness i repented for not forgiving this pastor i repented and uh, as i kept on repenting i saw another angel came and when he came he just uh, brought to me his hand to shake my hand and when i turned to shake his hand my neck turned back to normal and i felt i am now okay okay, okay. Mm. i opened my eyes mm. i realized there is something but this was now around 9 o'clock yes. in the evening so i kept on repenting about this man of god yes. about unforgiveness mm. everything that i could remember yes. I repented and I came to realize the lesson that I learned there. Yes, I went to judgment. Yes. I repented on slandering. I repented on eating tithe. Yes. I repented on wildness, but God could not forgive me before I forgive. Yes. That is why this issue of forgiveness was not solved fast. Yes. I was to learn if i don't forgive as much as i repent god also will not forgive me and it is biblical in the book it is in the book of matthew 6:14 that was said that for if you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you amen but if you don't forgive them you will not be forgiven you will not be forgiven mm. So, so that is why you are asking for forgiveness yeah. where you had not forgiven your pastor yes. so you cannot be forgiven i cannot be if forgiven you don't forgive if others. i don't forgive mm. others mm. that is the lesson i learned mm. now that night as i repented mm. in the morning mm. around 12 6 in the morning i woke up and i thought to pick my phone Do you know you are sick? I have been sick. Yes. I am in the hospital. You don't even care about looking on things like Facebook. Yes. But you know when we 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 were not in good terms with this man of God, 
he blocked me mm. on Facebook. Yes. So I said, ah, let me check what is on Facebook mm. because I was feeling a little bit mm. good. Mm. I opened, I logged into my Facebook account. When I logged, I saw friend request to check this pastor. He unblocked me and he has sent me the friend request. Again. Do you know? I was shaking while accepting the friend request. I said I have to ex accept it mm. early. Little. <laughs> Can he change his mind? Mm. His mind. Because I said now I have found a way yes. to reach him yes. to ask him for forgiveness. forgiveness. God open a way for yes. So I accepted the friend request of the man of God mm -hmm. and I just logged out of the yes. Facebook. Mm -hmm. So the following day, mm -hmm. I started feeling better. Mm -hmm. The doctors come to check on me. Mm -hmm. I was getting well, getting well and well. So that very day at night, when I was sleeping, I fell into a dream. Mm -hmm. I can say it was a dream. Mm -hmm. Because I saw doctors coming in the ward. I realized all doctors that were attending me. Yes. And there was one doctor who was different. He was different with these other doctors. He was big. He was tall. The more I look at him, because I wanted to know this is a new doctor. Who is he? Yes. These others, I know them. But who is this? He kept on growing. Mm -hmm. And he was so glorious than these other doctors. Mm -hmm. So they came, mm -hmm. and now this new doctor is the one who examined me. Mm -hmm. After examining me, mm -hmm. I saw he took my file and changed the medication. After changing the medication, they went. Mm. He also went. In the morning when I woke up, the clinical officer came. And the clinical officer changed the medication. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the clinical officer has changed the medication. I'm now getting better. I'm getting well. I'm feeling I'm now being he healed. So again in the, at night when I went to sleep, that doctor that I saw, mm -hmm. that was not like these other doctors, this glorious doctor who was taller than any other doctor, mm -hmm. now he came alone. Mm -hmm. And when he entered the ward, he took a, a chair mm -hmm. and he came and sat just near beside my bed. Mm -hmm. So I looked up. After seeing him, I looked up. When I looked up, I looked up and I saw heaven opened. And when the heaven was opened, I saw an angel mm -hmm. in heaven. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at this angel, he went in heaven in a certain room and I saw him opening something that looked like a store. It was a store. And then I looked inside this store, there were spare parts, body spare parts from hair. Mm. from the hair, the body parts, body parts mm. down to the toes, mm -hmm. to the nails, even nails, they are there in the toes. So this angel took a trolley and he started picking body parts, putting them on the trolley one by one. Mm -hmm. And he came down, I saw him coming down yes. with that trolley. And he came and he delivered the trolley to this doctor who was sitting beside my bed. Mm -hmm. So this doctor, he started taking out my body parts mm -hmm. that were paining, yes. all parts that were paining. Mm -hmm. He was removing and uh, throw it into the dustbin and then he took a new part on the trolley, mm -hmm. he replaced there. This side, the whole of this side, he replaced. And when he was replacing, I was feeling like I am taking water. Mm. And I felt like I was thirsty. Yes. You know when you are thirsty mm. and now you need to take water. Yes. There is a feeling that you feel when you take mm. water. Mm. That is what I was feeling. Being refreshed. Being refreshed. Mm. 
it was burgling. So he replaced this side, and then after he turned me and also replaced the, the other side. After doing the replacement, the angel took the trolley and went back. So meaning that in heaven there is uh, every body part yeah. of the body. Of the body. Mm. So if we pray, mm. we can be restored. Yes. New red, everything. Uh, new, uh, new heart, everything. Mm. That is, I realize that is how healing is done. Yes. Healing is mm. done in that way. Replacement. Yes. Jesus just took the he, he took the new one mm. and the old one he removes he it. Mm. He replaces it with the new. That mm. is how we receive our healing. Amen. He is the Lord our creator. Amen. He's the creator. He is the creator. Amen. So he recreates. He recreates. Yeah. Hallelujah. He recreates. Amen. When you are sick, mm. he recreates you when you are in need. Mm. Because I was calling on him and saying I'm calling on healing. I needed his healing. Mm. I told him to heal me. So he recreated. Mm. And your, your healing comes from repentance. Yes. And confession. And confession. Mm. So after the angel went back to heaven with the trolley, mm. the doctor stood and he told me, Lillian, everything that you have seen and everything that you will see, mm. go and tell the church. Everything that you have seen mm. and everything that you will see. Go and tell the church. church. I said yes. He repeated the second time. Mm. Lillian, mm. I have said everything that you have seen mm. and everything that you will see, mm. go and tell the church. church. I said yes. Mm. He repeated the third time with a loud voice pushing me. He was pushing me. He pushed me to the wall. Mm. I screamed. It was painful. I have said, everything you have seen, everything you will see, go and tell the church. Mm -hmm. With a loud voice now. So the I screamed command. with a command. I screamed and said, yes! Mm -hmm. So after that, mm -hmm. he went mm -hmm. and I woke up. Yeah. When I woke up, I stood, mm -hmm. I started jumping, mm -hmm. worshipping praising mm. and there were other patients also in the world so they thought that <laughs> mad yes because mm. they didn't expect it mm. i was praising i was singing songs of praise mm -hmm. giving him praise and worshiping him yes so after worshiping and praising like one hour mm. i felt asleep and i slept very well until morning yes so when the doctor came the doctor just gave me mm. Discharge. discharge. I was given the discharge mm. to go back home. Mm. So I was discharged mm. out of the hospital. Mm. I went back home. Mm. Now after going home, mm. I was, now I didn't know, mm. go and tell the church, mm. I knew I have my pastor. Now I am going to tell the past, my pastor this story so that my pastor will tell the, cha the church. The church. Mm. We talked with the pastor even if I was still in the hospital the very day that I was discharged. Mm. But I didn't mention anything mm. until I went back home. Yes. So I went, we talked with the pastor, I explained to him everything, all things that happened and he told me this is not to tell the church, to tell the CFF church, yes. the body of Christ. Yes. This is a message to the whole body of Christ, the body of Christ, all nations. All nations. Mm. And then uh, he said to me one thing, mm. this is your message mm. that the Lord has given you to deliver to the body of Christ. Of Christ. Mm. So after that, we have already talked to the pastor. Yes. So three days, mm -hmm. you three know. Days after, after you have been. Uh, uh, no, three days after now talking with the pastor. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. even if you are healed, you have been in hospital, you feel weak, some. Yes. Yeah. 
you feel weak or you weak mm -hmm. sometimes i those ladies those uh, youths in the church used to come to my house to cook for me some food to help me yes everything but this third day nobody came to my house to help me they were all busy <laughs> the lord kept them busy so i was tired I cannot wake up yes. to prepare something to eat. Mm -hmm. When it reached around uh, 10 in the morning, mm -hmm. I was totally feeling pain. Mm -hmm. And then I said, oh God, again pain, why am I feeling this pain? And then I said, maybe it is just because I'm recovering, um, I will just catch up. Mm -hmm. When it reached around 1, it was worse. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I, 1. Wow. Yeah, in the evening. Mm -hmm. And now I knew, mm -hmm. now this is different. I'm not recovering. Mm -hmm. It seems I am going back to my yeah. father now. Yes. Now, I said one thing. I said, even if I die now, yes. I have delivered the message. I have told my pastor, so pastor, will you give the message to the body of Christ? I have nothing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay. I have repented. I am going to heaven. Yes, and I was happy about it. Yes. I knew I am now going to heaven. Mm -hmm. I knew maybe God just wanted me to come and deliver this message, yes. and then I go. But I have delivered the message to the pastor. Yes. The pastor will deliver it to the church. Mm -hmm. So that is, was my decision. So when it reached around four in the evening, I gained strength. There was no pain all over my body. Yes. So I gained strength, I went to the shop to buy milk. And I came back, I, I, I cooked milk, and then I took some milk, a packet of milk. After taking milk, I was very strong, and I, now I started worshipping. Yes. So I was, was worshipping, feeling good, until around six. But now I had nothing to eat from there. It was only that milk and that was it. But I wasn't feeling hunger. Mm. I was feeling like somebody who is okay. I am just okay. I am just satisfied with my milk. So around nine, I was sitting on my bed. When I was sitting, I saw a man coming in the house. Yes. He entered, he was clothed in white. And I realized this is an angel. Because this angel looks like one of the angels that I saw when I was going to the judgment. And when he entered the house, he just took me from the bed. He took me to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. He washed me, my body. Yes. After washing my body, he anointed the whole of my body with oil, olive oil. I saw him using the olive oil. After anointing my body with the olive oil, he took a gown. The gown was very white, very, very white, very long. Yes. So he dressed me with that gown. Mm -hmm. And after dressing me with the gown, he took some oil, he started applying oil to my hair. My natural hair was very beautiful, was very glorious, it was long. And uh, me, I have, my hair is short, yes. but that time I saw a very long hair. Mm -hmm. So he applied oil in my hair and he started styling my hair the same way the bride. It's a style when he's going to mm -hmm. the wedding. Mm -hmm. So he made my hair very nice, he styled it very nice, and he took a veil. He dressed my head with a veil. Mm -hmm. He took the gloves white. Mm -hmm. He dressed my hands with the gloves. Mm -hmm. He took some shoes. Shoes, yeah. He put shoes in my feet. And then after that, this angel carried me. When he carried me, I, he started walking slowly. But now to me, I was feeling this person is delaying me. I'm supposed to, uh, to, 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 to go and do my wedding. wedding. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was seeing, but I could not speak to him to tell him to hurry up. 
even with the time he was dressing me and 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 and, uh, and styling my hair i was feeling that he is too slow i was feeling peace i was feeling very nice i could not remember my daughter could not remember my mother i could not remember anything i was only seeing the wedding yes so he carried me and uh, we went with him to the church to our church mm -hmm. uh, in our church cff yes. when we reached in the church we entered the church when we entered the church i saw the church was looking very glorious mm -hmm. the building was looking like gold mm -hmm. it was made of gold mm -hmm. I looked at the altar. The altar had a red carpet. And on the altar there were tables. The tables were made of glass. And inside the tables there were flowers, purple, white, and gold in color in the in the church now. So, another thing I saw people were many in the church. They have gathered for the wedding, but some people were in white. Some people were in dotted clothes, colored clothes, different colors. So I was looking at the people that were in white. I concentrated on the people that were in white. So I was looking, where is the groom? I am not seeing the groom. And then after I have seen everything in the church, this angel again carried me right unto the door of the church here at the door of the church now we want to go out i looked outside in the compound yes. the compound was very green it had green grass but right here from the door there was a very thin a very narrow way and this narrow was made of gold in the middle of this compound going like it was going very far mm -hmm. And here now at the door, the angel, I saw now the angel put me in the hands of the groom. Yes. Now the groom carried me. Mm -hmm. And when the groom carried me, this groom was beautiful. So he was so glorious. Mm -hmm. I wanted to look at his face, but I could not see his face. Mm -hmm. You know he's carrying me like this. Yes. Like now, like this book. Yes. He's carrying me on his laps. Mm -hmm. Now we started going. Mm -hmm. And when we were going, mm -hmm. we were not walking. Yes. Yeah. We were not walking down. Mm -hmm. He carried me just up. Mm -hmm. I was looking this side. This narrow road, besides there were flowers. Yes. Flowers, flowers very beautiful flowers and the flowers were giving sound of praise mm -hmm. it was like they were pre singing praises mm -hmm. and understandable praises mm -hmm. they were praising as we go mm -hmm. and we were going very slowly mm -hmm. so to me i was like i want this wedding to happen wedding to yes mm -hmm. we are going why are we going slowly mm -hmm. so we went a little bit far I met some people, they were men, most of them were men and children, little children. So I was looking, where are the ladies? I saw three ladies, but children were many, many children and men. They were singing, they sing, they sing, they praise, they praise, and they say, this is the best wedding ever. That is what they were saying. But when they sing, I could not understand the words. Yes. But it was beautiful. It was good to listen to. How are they, the appearance of those that you saw? They, okay, the, 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 the women and the men and the children. The appearance, the, the appearance they were glorious. Mm. Their body was different. Mm. And even me, this time, my body was different with the first time. Yes. The first time when I was going to judgment in, in, in the, 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 the cream garment with the um, spots, my body was just black as me and as I am today. 
that was the, my body. That is how I was seeing my body. But this time that the angel came and prepared me, my body changed. I was seeing my flesh, not the same flesh I am seeing today. I was uh, changed to another body. Yes. So when I met these people I met, I looked at myself, I saw my body was looking the same as them. Men were in white. They were in white robe with a belt down here, uh, the, around the waist. And the three ladies were also in white, but they had a belt here, a little bit up. And the little children were just in white, and they had no abe, a belt, but they were happy. They were singing. Everything was good. So we went, we went. When we reached the door, I saw the door, and I realized this is heaven. I saw the two angels standing at the door. When we reached there, the groom put me down. And he told me, these things, go and tell the church. After saying these things, go and tell the church, I found myself back in my house. Yes. And I started crying. I started feeling bad. Why? Why have I come back? Because I was expecting to enter. And me, I will respect men of God. Do you know it was overnight? But I took my phone to call the pastor, my pastor to tell him. I was confused because I didn't know what happened. So I had to explain him so that he may give me the real picture. Yes. He picked my phone. We talked. He explained to me now everything, how it was. So I was asking the pastor, is there anything I can do so that I can just go back? Mm. Pastor said, no, you have been told to go and tell the church those things you have seen. Yeah. You cannot go, you have not finished the work of God. Mm. And what now uh, concerning the, the revelation that you saw, mm. uh, it was speaking about the bride of Christ. Yes. That you are shown what will happen. The bridegroom and the bride. It is the marriage feast of the Lamb of God. Of the Lamb of and, God. Uh, that is in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 7. The Bible says, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. Mm. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Amen. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. Amen. Clean and white. Mm. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Amen. You see? Mm. And he says unto me, Light, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he hath the he and he said unto me, Those are the true saints of God. Amen. So meaning it was about the marriage of the Lamb of, of the God. Lamb. And you are being prepared. Yeah. The church is being prepared. Mm. That is where you saw that people they are not blessed. Mm. Uh, they are very few. The, many churches, very few are prepared. Mm. Very few. They are very few. Mm. But there are some people who which, which are prepared. So meaning there is a work to be done in the churches of God or where in the body of Christ to be yes. prepared mm. for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, another thing I learned, mm. the Bible says, mm. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. Mm. He is the life. Mm. He is the door. Jesus yes. is the door. He is the door. He is the one who took me right from the door of the church mm. to the door of heaven. Yes. He was the way. He is the one who carried me on this way from the church to heaven. Yes. To heaven. When you were going there. Yeah, when mm. I was going there. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the door. Yeah. He's the way to heaven. Yes. Mm. And he is the door. He's the door. Yeah. Mm. So when I came back now after talking to the pastor, I, I prayed and I asked, yes, mm. I was in the church. I saw some people. I saw some people in white and some are not in white. And according to the way I have spoken to my pastor, it seems that when Jesus comes right now, there are some people who won't be able to make it to heaven. Yes. Now, how many? Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me that right now, mm -hmm. if I come to rapture the church, yes. only 10% all over the world mm -hmm. will make it to heaven. Mm 
10%. 10%. Mm. That was the year 2017, March. Very serious. Ten, yeah, 10%, mm. the whole world. Very shocking. Would be raptured. Mm. So, brethren, whatever I am speaking today, it is not for entertainment. It is for the kingdom of God. It is not looking for money or fame or glory. This is true. It is for the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. It is for the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Let's be careful. The bridegroom is coming. Mm -hmm. The rapture is near. Mm -hmm. And when we go back to the things that I have mentioned, like the things that I saw in hell, even me, myself, after this, there is something, there is something I made wrong, yes. a decision that I made wrong. Mm. When I was in hell, I saw ladies burning with the earrings. Yes. I have told you I saw ladies burning with the hair attachments. Yes. But one thing I didn't learn, I saw the hair braids, the weaves and the human hair. So because I liked so much to make myself beautiful, I said in my heart that now because braids, weaves and human hairs are bad, I will put knitting yarn. Mm -hmm. I'll make my hair with the knitting yarn. Mm -hmm. And for those people who have watched my testimony that um, we recorded with the Pastor Gitahi, mm -hmm. you saw me with the small earrings, yes, small earrings. with the knitting yarn on my head. Mm -hmm. Even my pastor himself asked me when I spoke about hair attachments, mm -hmm. he asked me, what is this on your hair? Mm -hmm. I twisted and I said, ah, Pastor, don't worry, this is just knitting yarn. Mm -hmm. He said, what okay. Sorry? What is the knitting yarn? Knitting yarn, uh, this, this, this yarn that is used to make sweater. Oh, yeah, okay. it can be used to make sweater, mm -hmm. to knit sweater. Yes. So, I decided to do that. And uh, I said, because I was seeing big earrings, people being burned in hell with those big earrings, yes. I said somehow, mm -hmm. maybe small so earrings small. are okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this now I want to give part two of this testimony, yes. and this was 2018. Yes. Today we are in 2019. Yes. 2018 was last year, mm -hmm. and this happened December yes. of 2018. Mm -hmm. When I decided that, mm -hmm. I started doing it. I was putting on those small earrings. Mm -hmm. I was making my hair with those knitting yarn. Mm. I tell you, the Bible is very clear. Mm. This one, let's teach each other. The Bible says in Isaiah mm. 45, chapter 9. Mm. Why? It says, why, why, why can man compete with God? If you read it clearly, let's look at the Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40, 45, 45, this 45, verse 9. Mm. Yes. 45. Uh-huh. God says, Woe unto him that strives yes, with his maker. maker. Woe unto him that strives with his maker. Mm. Let the portion strive with the portion of mm. the earth. Shall the crazy say to him that fashion it? What makes thou or, or thy work? He that no hands. Yes. Mm. The Bible is very clear. Mm. Shall the clay say to his that fashions it, mm. What hast thou mm. makes me or thy work? Mm. He has no hands. Clay has no hands. We are clay. Mm. We have no hands. Mm. It is, it is our maker who made us. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says so in uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, yes. God says, mm -hmm. let us make man mm -hmm. in our own image, in yes. our own likeness. likeness. So we are made 
in God's own image yes. and in his own likeness. likeness. So when we say we are not beautiful, mm. we attach these hair attachments on our heads. Yes. We are in other way we are correcting God. And we are striving with God. We are telling God it is like he did not make you well, well yes. or the way you want. Yes, you and there is no scripture in the Bible that says, I have made you ugly. Yes. Go and make yourself beautiful. In fact, the scripture yes. that, that speaks all say in the book of Psalms 139, 14, the Bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully created by God. Made. Fearfully and, and wonderfully made, made by God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So you are fearful. The way God has created you naturally, mm. that is fearfully, wonderfully created by God. Mm. Meaning you don't need makeup. Yes. Because you are wonderfully created by God. The image mm. that God has given you mm. it is, wonderful. it is wonderful. You don't need any makeup. Mm. And you see in the book of Isaiah, he say, all to those that strive, to those yeah. that argue, to those that complain, those that are fighting with God with through God. makeups. Mm. Because we they, are trying to make yeah. ourselves mm. beautiful. Because uh, I, I have shared this testimony with so many people, mm. but some people say they are being told with their pastors that mm. God needs them to be beautiful. Mm. God does not need you to be beautiful, and mm. he has already made you yeah. beautiful in his own mm. image. His you are fearfully mm. and wonderfully made. The work of God is perfect. So me, after all I went through, I said, oh no. How can I? Will I how? I'm used to these things. Mm -hmm. So I decided to start putting on those small earrings and making my hair with the, those knitting yarn. Yes. My a pastor asked me, little did I know, it is the Holy Spirit that was speaking to this man of God mm -hmm. to warn me against this attachment that was on my head. So I kept on doing it. And as a matter of fact, mm. you know now I was not working yes. from there. Mm. My job, somebody else replaced me. Mm. Because I, it took me a long time to recover. Oh. And the, 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 my boss could not wait on me. So I had no job. Mm. And I said, now what am I going to do? I know how to plait. Yes. I know how to braid hairs. Mm. Now what I will do, mm. I won't put weaves or human hairs on my head yes. or those braids. Mm. But if I get a client, mm. I will do it. As much as I'm being paid, I get something to eat. To eat. Mm. I started doing it. So one day in our church, mm -hmm. we had um, a conference. Mm. And there is a man of God whom my pastor invited. Mm -hmm. He called me and told me, God has told me mm that you have to do his work mm. and he will know mm. how to feed you. Mm. The same thing my pastor told me, mm. do the work of God. Mm. God will send an ego mm. to feed you. To feed you. I, lis I, I heard but I never mm. listened. Yes. My pastor told me first. Mm -hmm. This pastor who came in the conference also mm. said yes. the same. Mm. You see they are being related Yes. There are words that they spoke. Mm. So I said, before God starts to feed me, I have to do something. Mm. Have to eh? Yeah. Mm. And I also used to talk to some people who are born again mm. to ask them, now how am I going to do mm. about these things? My daughter is in school. I need mm. to pay school fees. I need to eat. Yes. I need to pay my house rent. Yes. They were telling me, they were like, God always gives somebody grace period. Yes. If God has told you not to do this, mm -hmm. there is grace period. Mm -hmm. You can still do it before God gives you another job. Mm -hmm. So I started doing it. Mm -hmm. But the more I was doing it, mm -hmm. <laughs> anytime I played somebody, that money will go to hospital. I will spend a little on myself. Mm -hmm. But most of the money was going to the hospital and the doctors were not getting the sickness. Mm. I did so many x-rays. Mm. I, I maybe, I forgot I could have carried them. Mm. I did so many x-rays. 
at Mama Lucy Hospital, the last time the doctor told me, today I'm not going to give you any medicine because they were only giving me painkillers. Yes. They are not getting anything. them anything. Mm -hmm. So they just have to give me painkillers. Mm -hmm. He told me, you go and fast and pray. Yes. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is a doctor. A doctor. Yeah. Go fast and, fast pray. and pray. Some diseases mm -hmm. are not treated in the hospital. It is true. Or if you want me to give you medicines, I will give you, but this medicine won't help you. Mm, won't help you. So I went back. So, mm, I, so you I was thinking now, how am I, I am going to fast, what am I going to pray for? Is it healing? Is it what? My, my mind was not getting why am I going through this thing. Mm. So one day, uh, a certain man of God saw my testimony. Mm on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And he's a man who has ever had the, these experiences of hell and heaven. Yes. So this man of God called me. Mm -hmm. And he told me he wanted to see me. Yes. I went, we made an agreement mm -hmm. and I went to see him, to meet him. When I went to meet him, he told me, I, want, I need to listen to your testimony now. Yes. Tell me, how was it? I narrated to him a whole story. And then he told me, do you know you are going to die and you are going to hell? Mm -hmm. I said, why? Mm -hmm. One thing, you are warned against these hair attachments. Yes. Secondly, when you saw the earrings, God was warning you against anything called jewelry. Yes. Now, you yourself on your head, you have attachment. Yes. Second, you have jewelry. There is no difference between a small jewelry mm -hmm. and a big jewelry. That's and then he, he asked me, what is the difference between a quarter of poison and one kg of poison? Is there a difference? Yes. I said no. And he said, all is poison. All is poison. Yeah. Okay. Another thing he told me, now you say you do hair because you have no yes. money. Now you are born again. Can you sell alcohol? I said no. Even if you are not taking alcohol. Can you sell alcohol? I said no. Can you go to a witch doctor? I said no. Can you advise somebody to go to a witch doctor? I said no. And he told me now, why are you, why did you went back to hairdressing? So he told me, I want to, I am warning you. Go and repent and tell God to forgive you. First, disobedience, you disobeyed. Yes. Go and repent. And if you don't repent, I assure you, you are dying very soon and you are going to hell. So I was finished. I came back. Ah, I came back. I started now seeking the Lord afresh. Mm -hmm. Until the day I decided to fast for three days and repent. Mm. So I repented for three days and it was fasting. Mm. December 2018. So uh, the day that I was breaking my fast, it was on a Friday in the morning. I broke the fast on Friday in the morning. So at around... Uh, Three o'clock in the evening, I felt so tired and I decided just to sleep to rest. In a couple of a minute, I saw a man dressed in white cloth yes. with a golden belt. Mm -hmm. He had a staff in his right hand. Mm -hmm. So he came and stood near me and he told me, Lillian, I want to take you to hell. Mm. So I said, no, I was afraid. I started to beg him, do not take me to hell. I don't want to go there. Forgive me, forgive me. He said, no, he, he was not harsh. No, he was friendly. He told me, no, don't be afraid. There is nothing bad. I just want to take you to hell to show you something. Mm. I said, no, even if it's showing me something in hell, I don't want to go there. 
he told me, I want to take you to hell, but I tell you this, my blood is your strength. So when I heard those words, my blood is your strength, I knew this is Jesus. Yes. Yes. So I accepted, accepted it. to go to hell. Mm. So he took my hand mm. and we went. So when we went, when we reached there at the gate of hell, he removed the key and he opened the gate. <coughs> when he opened the gate, we entered in hell walking on a dry land, very glorious way in the, here. Mm. This side was darkness, this side darkness, but here there was light, the, the, the way that we were following, there was light. So. I knew this is hell. Mm -hmm. So I was checking to see whether those demons that I saw the other time were around. Mm -hmm. There was no demon. Mm -hmm. No demon that was near, around. I couldn't see any demon. Mm -hmm. So we went with him mm -hmm. until into the midst of hell. Yes. And I realized this is the center mm -hmm. of hell. So he left me there and he repeated and said, my blood is your strength. Yes. And he left. Mm -hmm. When he left, there was no way again. That road that we came with was nowhere to be seen. I could not come out of it. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now here at the center of hell, mm -hmm. on this side, down, there was fire. And there were people burning in fire. Mm -hmm. And this side up a little bit, raised up a little bit, raised up, mm -hmm. there were also people. And I realized these people I'm seeing this side on the left, they were people who are not dead. Yes. They are alive. So I was like, how comes these people are here and there are people that I know they are in the world, they are still alive, they are not dead. So I looked up and I saw waiting. I realized this is waiting. What are they waiting for? The people that were there, most of them were preachers, mm -hmm. men of God, mm -hmm. prophets, mm -hmm. evangelists, mm -hmm. pastors, mm -hmm. Christians. Some were Christians yes. who were born again, but they are not serving. Yes. They were there on the waiting. Mm -hmm. Their bodies were gray color. Even somebody, somebody, I know this person is brown, even because I saw even uh, people from abroad countries, mm -hmm. from Europe, from America, brown peoples, but in, uh, on the waiting they were gray color, in color. And those people that were in hell were black. They are already burning, they are being tortured. And these on the waiting were not being tortured. Mm -hmm. They are just there, they are happy. They are enjoying. Bishops are there. So I started speaking to them, asking them one by one, one on one, why are you there? Mm -hmm. And they were explaining to me. Every pastor was telling me, me, I am here because of one, two, three, because of this and this. Some money, they love love of money. Some are thieves. Some are, who are, in, are in immorality, but they are serving God. They are serving God, but they are doing other things. Mm -hmm. Some are false teachers. Some are false prophets. Mm -hmm. Some did mistakes. God gave them grace to repent. They never repented, and they were given retrenchment letter. Mm -hmm. I saw them. God gave them retrenchment letter, and it was signed, and they accepted it. Mm -hmm. So they are serving God. But they are on the waiting, they have retrenchment later. Some are false teachers, some are pretenders, they lie to people that they are serving God, mm -hmm. but they are serving the devil, the devil in the name of God. Mm -hmm. Some of them were even preachers who preach holiness. Mm -hmm. That surprised me. They are preaching holiness, mm -hmm. but they are on the waiting. But they are not in saying. hell. But they are preaching holiness. Yes, mm -hmm. but they are preaching holiness. Mm -hmm. So I, I talked to them, by the way. Everybody was able to explain to me why he is on the waiting. So after that, I start, after talking to every person I know, mm -hmm. I started looking for a way 
to get out of hell. Mm -hmm. Now demons came. Mm -hmm. Three demons. Mm -hmm. These demons, when they came, they took hold of me. And they took me inside a room like this one. They just locked me in a very small room. And this room, when they, we entered into that room, they locked the door. They took chains. Have you ever heard? It is in the Bible. Chains are in hell. So they took chains and they bound me with chains. My hands were bound backwards like this. My, my feet were bound together with the body, with the chains. After binding me with chains, the first demon went and brought the knitting yarn that I always put on my head. Yes. Another demon went on cutting hairs, those, those, those extensions, mm. those fake hairs that I do, uh, I, 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 I do, mm. uh, mm. yeah, mm. I do make to other people. Mm. They cut those hair mm. styles, those weaves, those braids, they come and put them on my head. Yes. So my head was big, carrying all sorts of hairstyles. Mm. Anybody that I ever made her hair, mm with ex using extension. They were cutting and putting them on my head. Some people are already dead. I used to make their hairs long time ago. They, were, they are dead. I saw them, their hairs were being cut. They put them on my head. My head was big. I was carrying them all. I was carrying also my knitting yarn that I made on my hair. Carrying the burdens of others. Yes. Of the others. Mm -hmm. So, after this demon has done that, another demon went and brought petroleum, oil. Mm. They poured oil on my head. Mm. Another demon went to bring a matchbox mm. and he alighted fire on mm. my head. So I started burning. My head started burning. Mm. My skull was bursting. Mm. It was painful. Mm. I started crying. They locked me inside that room and they went out. The room was transparent. The demons outside could see me and I could also see the demons outside and everything that was happening outside. But I have been tied, bound down the floor, burning, making all sorts of crying, groaning, crying. I was being tormented. The fire the torment, mm. the torture. So when I looked outside, I remembered Jesus told me, my blood is your strength. So I said, I'll call on the blood of Jesus Christ. But before I call on the blood of Jesus Christ, my mind, I thought to look for the phone to call my pastor. Yes. You know, when you are in hell, demons read your mind. So my mind was thinking, I took a phone, I called my pastor, so I'm looking for the phone. The demons laughed at me and told me, Madam, you cannot make a call here. And your pastor is not here. That pastor of yours is not here. Here is not a place to make calls. Shut up. So I left. I stopped looking for the phone. For the mm -hmm. phone and they are laughing when they speak mm -hmm. they are laughing so i started calling Honorary, Honorary Jesus can save yes you. the blood of jesus is my strength jesus when i call the blood of jesus my strength mm -hmm. now the muslims came mm -hmm. muslim women mm -hmm. they came they are burning in those their clothing mm -hmm. they are burning all over fire all over but their hands could pass through mm -hmm. the wall they touch my neck. Mm -hmm. They don't want me to call the blood of Jesus. Yes, they Jesus. don't want to hear the name of Jesus, the name of mm -hmm. Jesus and the blood. And the blood. Mm -hmm. So I was in pain. Mm -hmm. I am crying. I am down. I am seeing what is happening outside. Now that was horrible. Whatever I saw outside, I am seeing through the wall. The wall was transparent. How demons are torturing people outside there. The demons are torturing people, especially those people who are in morality. Those people who are servants of God and they 
sinned and went to hell in the center of hell the center of fire the torture is terrible they you are there being tortured according to the sin that they committed mm -hmm. those who worshiped idols yes. those who went to witchcraft mm -hmm. those who murdered those who did abortion yes. those who supported abortion they are in that center in the center of hell and those who did murder abortion mm -hmm. killed mm -hmm. the demons who are cutting their flesh with a knife they mm -hmm. cut the flesh and they gave them to eat yes. they eat their flesh mm -hmm. those who went to witchcraft mm -hmm. they were also eating their raw flesh so i am crying i am suffering i am seeing these things I need to call upon the blood of Jesus but I fear the Muslims. Mm. I fear these Muslims who are, who are there. They are just ready to they are listening just to hear the blood of Jesus and they they come for me. The people who have done abortion, all sorts of abortion. Mm. Sexual immorality. Mm. Wrong sex styles. My What? friend, <laughs> I don't. I, yeah, let me just speak mm. it. You speak it. Wrong sex style. Mm. Those things style. I mm. call them dog style. All those, all those things. Mm. I I know people know them mm. when I say that. Yeah, yeah. She's speaking about the the, the styles of pornography. Those the, ones. The pornography they used to 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 to, to do the the, the styles. Mm. They are they are abomination. Mm -hmm. Continue. They are abomination unto God. Mm -hmm. So such people are being accused of immorality. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I saw some people, they were couples. Mm -hmm. They didn't go outside their marriage, but they are accused for defiling sex the way God created it. Yes. A wife mm -hmm. and a husband mm -hmm. who never did adultery, mm -hmm. they were there being tortured because of immorality they are being accused mm. for one thing mm. defiling the sex mm. so i was like how these are couples mm. you know when you think you are referred to the scripture, the scripture. in the bible mm. i tell you judgment is here nobody right. will be judged without this mm. Desire. When you ask why are you being thrown to hell, mm. this will be opened mm. unto you. Yes, mm. that says the Lord. Mm. Now the scripture is here mm -hmm. for those uh, those wrong yes. styles. Yes, uh, Genesis chapter three, chapter three. Genesis chapter three. Mm -hmm. Was, uh, is it Vasile? Chapter, it is chapter 3. Mm. Where is it? Where is it? That's you can go come Where God uh, gave punishment to the woman. Verse 16. Yes. This verse 16. Yes. He said... Mm. And to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shall thou bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. My mind captured, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over you. The husband shall rule over oh. you thy desire shall be to thy husband mm. so if the husband is not ruling over you mm. during that time of coming together it mm. is sin mm. that is sin ruled. you should be ruled yes the woman should be ruled so means the, 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 the husband should be top because the bible says he is at the top he's the, yeah, head. the head so he should, he should rule or in, in everything. everything he should read in so, everything that means so anything mm. different with that 
is called mm. sexual defilement. Sexual defilement. Yes, mm. that is it. And clean sex. And clean sex. Mm. So, such type of people mm. who have defiled sex, mm. who are in immorality, mm. they are torture. If you are a lady, the demons come with chains. Mm -hmm. The demons in form of male demons, mm -hmm. they come with chains. They tie your leg this side and another one this side. Mm -hmm. Just the way you are doing on earth, mm -hmm. that is how they do to you. To men also the same. Mm -hmm. The demons, they torture men who are in immorality. Mm -hmm. They came with chains, mm -hmm. they tie you, and they took, uh, I saw them taking uh, something like, uh, um, how, how can I call it? Uh, it looks like a cup, mm -hmm. and uh, they make acid. 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 Mm -hmm. And the acid is very thick, like thick porridge. Mm -hmm. So they take the female part, mm. the male part of the man, they insert it inside that uh, acid. acid. So it burns, it comes, the flesh mm. comes out, mm. falling down, falling down. Mm. The person is, the people are crying. Oh. Sexual sin, mm. immorality, masturbation, the torture, masturbation mm. pornography, mm. all sorts of immorality that mm. have been mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. They are being tortured in the midst of hell, mm -hmm. especially those people who are born again. Yes. They are there mm -hmm. in the midst of hell. Mm -hmm. Another thing I saw, I am inside. Mm -hmm. I saw some demon, mm -hmm. the, 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 the demon, they were in form of men. Mm -hmm. They went and they grabbed another lady. Yes. And this lady, when they grabbed him, another demon picked a condom. Mm -hmm. And the condom, inside this condom, mm -hmm. I could see things like babies inside. Yes. And yes. these babies, they were, the size was like of insects, mm -hmm. small insects. Mm -hmm. That is the size. Mm -hmm. they, <laughs> they lift them up like this. They say, they told this lady, do you see? These, are, these were your kids and you brought, you came here because you killed these children. So the lady was like, he was using, the, they were using the condom with the husband to protect giving birth in a form of contraceptive. But they were killing, they were, they, 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 they were accused of two they had two accusations. Yes, One, when you use a condom, you are also defiling sex. Yes. Secondly, you are a murderer. Yes. It is God who creates children. It is true. And uh, every semen mm. is a child. It is, it is God who decides mm. which one will grow mm. and which one will not grow. Mm. So anytime you use a condom, mm. you are killing the children of God. Mm. So I was like, how comes? And another demon came. I was surprised to see condoms in hell. So I was like, condoms are not supposed to be in hell. Mm. So another demon came with a, 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 a box of condoms to show me yeah. how they made the condoms in hell and then brought condoms mm. on, their, mm. on the earth. I tell you, so I was like, why is this? Why? But this is not biblical. Where is it? Yes. In the Bible. Mm -hmm. And when I was thinking, where is it in the Bible? Because I had already known mm -hmm. it must be in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I was given Genesis chapter 38. Yes. Genesis chapter 38, verse 8 to 10. Genesis 38. Verse 8, um, verse 8, And Judah said unto Onan, Go into thy brother's wife, and marry her, and rest up seed to thy brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his, and it came to pass, when he went in unto his brother's wife, mm -hmm. that he spilled 
it on the ground yes. lest that he should give seed to his brother. Mm. He spilled it on the ground. Yes. So when you use a condom, you spill the semen on the ground. Mm. In fact, we throw them in the dustbin. Yes. Same like what Onan did. It is nothing different with what Onan did. Yes. Yes. So such a person, those peoples, they are in hell. Mm. Condom users, they are in hell. Mm. Those who use condoms to protect. Yes. To, 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 to control birth. Mm. It is God who controls mm. birth. He's the one who opens the womb. Yes. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, he said to yes. Adam and Eve, mm. go you and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. So when you use these contraceptives, mm. you are killing fertility. And kidding. God himself created you mm. fertile. He said, you go and be fertile. Be fertile. fertile and increase. Increase. Mm. And in the book of, uh, of Isaiah 66, 9, he said, Shall I bring to the time of birth not, and not cause the delivery? Mm. Says the Lord. Shall I do cause delivery? Mm. Shut up the womb? Mm. Shall I not shut up the womb? The womb. He's asking a question. If he is the one who brings up the time of delivery, shall he who delivers... Will he not cause the womb? Will he not uh, shut the womb? Yeah. So you, you cannot shut the womb through any medicine, mm. through any pills, mm. because that is killing. Mm. And you see, you are saying that every semen or every sperm, it is life. They are life. They are life. So when you prevent them, you are preventing the the, the seed of God. The seed of God. The seed of God. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I, that is what I was saying there. It was dirty, mm. dirty, dirty. Mm. And the center. And there are peoples who are on earth. Mm. They are alive. Yes. But their places in hell are already prepared. Mm. That one, I saw a politician, yes. a Kenyan politician, mm. whose place in hell is already prepared. They are just waiting on him to die, to go to and receive his there torment. There are people who are arrived right now. Yeah. They have not died yet. Yeah. Yeah. But in hell, they are there. Mm -hmm. They are candidates of hell. They are candidates they are of hell. Waiting. Yeah. Like that politician, I saw his place of torture is already prepared. Mm -hmm. And the scene. Mm -hmm. He has so many scenes. Mm -hmm. So I saw they have prepared for him a house. Mm -hmm. It is like a house. And in this house, it is a big house. It, there is a sitting room and the small, small rooms. Mm. So I was able to understand yes. the sitting room is the major scene. Yes. And these other small, small rooms are mm. these small, small yes, yes, yes. scenes. Mm. So it's already prepared. They are just waiting for him. Mm. Who else? Yes, <sighs> oh, no. Mm. Only that, that one and those servants of God that mm. I those saw there. Prophets. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, there. yeah. Mm. Those ones, I saw them there mm. at the center of hell. Mm. So I was crying after seeing these things. Mm. You know, I was afraid to call the blood of Jesus. Yes. I am burning, mm. but I fear mm. the Muslim. Now after seeing all these things, I gathered my courage and I said, whatever it is, mm. I will call upon the blood of Jesus. Yes. So I continued calling, the blood of Jesus is my strength. Mm. The blood of Jesus is my strength. They come to touch me, to beat me, they torment me, those Muslims, yes. when I mention the blood of Jesus. Mm. But the seventh time when I called on the blood of Jesus, the, ch the, the chains were loosened. Mm. The fire stopped burning. Mm. I woke up and the door was opened. Yes. And now I got out. Mm -hmm. When I got out, I was looking on the way to get out. Mm -hmm. I was not seeing anything. Mm -hmm. So I just started walking. When I was walking, I saw another woman with a small earring just standing somewhere alone mm -hmm. with a small earring. Mm -hmm. Now I remembered mm -hmm. my earring. Mm -hmm. That small earring turned to be a hacksaw. Mm -hmm. Like it looked like half snake, half hacksaw. Yes. Its body. Mm -hmm. So the earring started cutting the ears of this woman round. 
the small he had also a very small chain, chain. around her neck, necklace. necklace. Mm -hmm. This small chain turned to be a hacksaw. Yes, and it was now cutting her mm -hmm. neck round, mm -hmm. like grinding her neck. She was bleeding, crying and crying and crying. Mm -hmm. Now I was like, this is just a simple, smaller mm -hmm. earring. Why, why, why is this woman being tormented like this? And I saw Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 9, verse 9, verse 19. Ezekiel, chapter, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7. Everything must be confirmed through the word of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations. Mm -mm. No, mm -hmm. just read it from verse, verse 18. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. They shall also guard the guild themselves with a sacral, and holler shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon mm -hmm. all their heads. Mm -hmm. They shall cast their silver in the streets, mm. and their gold shall be removed. Mm. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them to in, deliver in the them. day of the wrath of the Lord. Mm. They shall not satisfy their souls, mm. neither feed their boys, because it is tumbling broke of mm. their iniquity. Amen. As for the beauty mm. of his ornament, he, he said in majesty, but they made the images of abomination mm. and of their detestable things mm. therein. Therefore I have set it far from them. Amen. Mm. We speak about the ornament, the beauty of ornaments. ornaments. Rings, bangles, mm. earrings, but, uh, those necklaces, all the ornaments. So there I remembered, when I saw that, I remembered how the man of God told me what is the difference between a quarter portion of, uh, of, of, of poison and a one kilogram of poison. Mm. It is just the same. The whether same. it is small mm. or whether it is big, it is, it is the just the same. poison. Mm. And then from there I looked to the other side and I also saw some ladies and, and, and men, ladies and gentlemen, on a line. Mm. And here, each and every person was being applied hair dye. Mm. The hair dyes that we changing apply, the or changing the color. the color of the mm -hmm. hair. And it was not dye, it was not the dye, it was acid. acid. It was acid, mm -hmm. burning the head, yeah. burning the, 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 the flesh. Mm -hmm. It was bringing the flesh down. Mm -hmm. They were bleeding, they were crying, they yes. are in fire. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is not wrong. Just to color the hair, yes. some, if you are applying the black dye, mm -hmm. the, the acid is black. Yes. When you are applying the brown one, mm -hmm. they're just the same. So when I was thinking about that, mm -hmm. I saw Matthew chapter, five, Matthew chapter 5 verse 36. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that you cannot so, change your yes. hair to be black. Yeah, or yeah. In fact, Jesus says you cannot change even one, 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 one of your hair, mm. black or, or white. white. Mm. In other words, we are not supposed to color our color. hair mm. any color, mm. any color. It is mm. upon Jesus. We are changing and because the, of the gray hair. The gray hair. Some black. have black hair, but they need blonde hair, yeah, so I mean, they apply the blonde blue, color. Gray. The same, same color that you are applying on the world. Mm -hmm you will be applied there. From there, I saw another corner. They mm -hmm. were men, only men. Only men. And it looked like, a, like a, a place where men goes to shave their hair. Mm -hmm. So they were being shaven with bottle, broken bottles. Mm -hmm. They were being cut, mm -hmm. styles. Yes. I realized there are those people mm -hmm. who shave their hair with, they were, apply cuts, mm -hmm. styles, styles. Mm -hmm. So I was like, is shaving wrong? Mm -hmm. And the Bible says a man has yeah, to cuts. shave his hair. Mm -hmm. The man is not supposed to have long hair. Mm -hmm. Why are they being shaven here? Mm -hmm. And then I saw the book of Leviticus. Yes. 
chapter 19 is it it is chapter 19 yes. you are not supposed to shave your hair mm. with any style when you shave hair as a man just mm. shave it flat it's true. same size mm. not cuttings snake whatever any style cuttings and all that or a mohawk style something like a mohawk yes. style mm. so when i saw that and i am in pain you know the way I was being burned, it is still in my mind, although I'm not burning, but I'm still feeling it. So I am looking, me, in all this scenario, I was looking for a way to get out of hell. That was what I was looking. Yes. So after this, seeing these people who were being shaven in hell, I saw the man who took me to hell in front of me. And when he came, he passed me and stood behind me. When he stood behind me, now there was a way to get out. Mm. So we just followed this way, going ah, out. So we came out. After coming out, he locked the gate. There we were in the wilderness. We were standing in a wilderness. In this wilderness is where again I met another servant of God whom I know very well. She preached holiness, mm. running, running, going to hell. He, she was running, going to hell. And I said, why is she going to hell? I have been there. That place is terrible. It's horrible. And I, I was shown. When we were standing looking at her, I wanted to ask her why she's going to hell. Mm. She's on a journey going to hell. Yes. I saw her church. And in this church, what I saw, after service, they collect the offerings. After collecting the offerings, in the offering basket, I saw a very big snake dotted, going direct to the offering basket. It is the snake that collects the offerings. It eats the offerings, mm. the tithes, and all sorts of offerings. And now I was able to understand why this woman was running, going to hell. Mm. She is deceiving people. She is She's not serving God. Mm. Because if she is really serving God, there is no way a snake is eating the offerings mm. of the congregation. And you say she was, she was a holiness. Yeah, she's she a holiness a, preacher. Holiness. Yeah. So you hear, mm. brethren, that mm. the Bible says that in the, in the Bible that even the angel must spread himself as an angel of righteousness. Mm. So that's he, he may deceive the elected if it is possible. Yeah. So not only those people that are preaching holiness, but you should look and see and search and confirm through the Holy Spirit to discern the Spirit. Mm. We have to pray. Mm. Just as the Bible says, not all who calls me Lord, Lord. Amen. Not all. Yes. The Bible says many are called but few are chosen. And that is why we see like these things of jewelry and makeup. Mm -hmm. Many people, many preachers, it ladies who are mm -hmm. preaching, they have those things. They but they them. preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. They are delivering people, but mm -hmm. they won't make it to heaven. It is true. If you read Exodus 33 verse 1 to 6. Yes. God himself said to the children of Israel, yes, he no will idea. not walk in their midst yes. because of their ornaments. Yes. And he said if he walk in their midst, he will consume them in a moment. Yes. But he said one thing, mm. I will send an angel mm. to go before you, mm. to lead you mm. to, to, to the land mm. of honey, mm. to the promised land. Mm. It is possible to reach your destiny, mm. to deliver the message of God very nicely. Mm. But you are not walking with God, you are walking with an angel. Sure. God is not in walking with you. Mm. You are serving God, mm. but not with God. Mm. Because when he say he cannot walk in your midst with your ornaments, he cannot change. It's true. There is no change. He cannot change. Mm. You will serve, can serve God and still perish. Because the gift is there. Mm. Yes. He has promised you to take you 
to the promised land. He don't want to break the covenant. He will give you an angel to lead you to the promised land, but you will not make it to heaven mm. because of the adornment, because of the jewelries. Mm. That is the difference we have. Mm. But some people say, oh, those are the things of the Old Testament. Mm. Oh, those are the laws of Moses. There is nothing like that because Jesus mm. said he did not come to abolish the law. It is true. But it will fulfill. Did you saw people of tattooing, tattoo? Yeah. Mm. This second time yeah, I same category. I saw people with tattoos. Mm. They are there. What happens in the atonement? Mm. The, the the demons took screwdriver. They yes. take the screwdriver. Mm. That place a person had a tattoo. Mm. They they, they they, 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 yeah, they remove that tattoo with a screwdriver. It is very painful. Those flesh fall down. They fall down. That is how they remove tattoos. Amen. The Bible says in the book of, uh, in the book of Leviticus, mm -hmm. you speak about tattoo. You don't draw your... Uh, the book of Leviticus, Leviticus, uh, what? Leviticus. Leviticus 19.28. The Bible speaks about them and says that you should not draw your body or mm. make a cutting in your body. Mm. So when you are making a cutting, tattooing, when you are do doing tattoo, you are making a cutting. When you are piercing your ear, you are making a cutting. A cutting. So it is abomination before God. Mm. Mm. It is an abomination. Whatever God calls sin. And mm. me, or as to me, you know, some people say making your hair is not a sin. Mm. But... Anything that makes you to miss heaven is sin. It is sin. It is sin. Yes. So anything that God hates. So it what is about sin. braiding here? Uh, the putting on of trousers. Mm -hmm. It is an abomination. In fact, in the Bible, yes. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy twenty two five, mm -hmm. God say, a man shall not put on that which pertains a woman. And a woman, and a woman also shall not put on that which pertains a man. Mm -hmm. Whoso does that it is an abomination yes. unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing like women trousers. Trosa. No mm -hmm. way. It's trousers is a trousers. Yes. So how how would you ask? How, uh, maybe there is somebody who is asking, mm -hmm. or a sister who is asking somewhere there, that uh, how then should they uh, leave their hair, or how should they do with their hair, braiding their natural hair, or how would they do? According to my experience, God loves us the way he created us. He loves us when we are natural, the way he created us. Look at the, the, the image of Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 there. Yes. I think it is there, verse 13. Mm -hmm. The really figure of Jesus. Yes. Jesus, the, the, um, John says... He had a garment down to his feet, yes. his head and his hair, mm. his head and his hair were as white as wool, hair, not attachment. Mm. He talks about the hair, mm. not attachment. attachment. Mm. And this also applies to those people mm. who apply black dye, mm. they don't need the white hair. Yes. When white hair comes out, they apply the black dye. The white hair is the really image of God. Yes. It is the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself, his hair is white. Yes. So when you grow and your hair starts to turn into gray, you are now coming back. You are now coming to the really image of Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. If God likes attachment, mm -hmm. we could have seen Jesus, this image, John could have told us, and his head had a braid yes. hair, mm. or a human hair attached. But he speaks of his head, and his hair was white yes. as wool. Mm. Also to these people who apply the dye, black dye on the hair to change the, the gray hair. The Bible says in um, the book of, uh, I have done some researches, in the book of um, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 20, I think it is chapter 20 there, it says, the strength of a youth, the glory of a youth, 
is his strength. But the beauty of an old man is gray hair. Yes. You are now retaining the image of God. The natural hair. And also the time I was being taken to heaven, when the angel came to prepare me, to clothe me, to wash me, I did not see any attachment. He didn't attach anything on my hair. He styled my natural hair. Here. Mm. He took a comb. Mm. Very good. That's the same way we use combs to comb our hair. He was styling my hair using a comb. So if it is to make your hair as a lady, mm. just make lines. If you can plate your lines, natural hair without attaching mm. anything. Mm. That one is okay. Mm. It is okay mm. to do it plain without right. attaching anything mm. on it mm. it is okay what about the dreadlocks um according to my understanding mm. the origin of the dreadlocks matters much mm. the origin of the dreadlocks mm. is demonic the yes. person who started dreadlocks is true? was not a person who worshiped god he was a rapper mm. a, 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 a person who started reggae. Mm. He's the one who started this hairstyle. Mm. And reggae does not glorify God. Mm. And they started this, this uh, hairstyle mm. to praise him. To praise this man who yes. started the reggae. Yes. So there is no way this thing can be connected to God. The way it is made. It is the way it is made. I understand because... Uh, uh, when some mm. have those dreadlocks mm. in the eye, in the ancient time, mm. there are those people who call themselves the Mau Mau, mm -hmm. the Mongeki. Mm. They are people who are rebellious. They are, they are, they are yeah. rebellious people. Mm -hmm. They used to kill, they used yeah. to murder. Mm. They were a group of people and they had a sign. They had mm. a sign that they had those dreadlocks. Dreadlocks was their dread, sign. They are, they, they, it was their sign. Mm. Then later we see the Rastafarians. Mm. They also you see that there are people who are even uh, smoking ganja, smoking yeah. weed, mm. with those dreadlocks. So yes. it's a sign of rebellious people. It's mm. not from godly people. It's a sign from other people who does not serve God. Yeah. Do not have the fear of God. Yeah. And the Bible says in the book of Marathi that there, 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 there shall be a difference between my people. There shall be a difference. A difference. So our ties should have the difference. Yeah. You see? That's the reason. Mm. It is wilderness. Yeah, it is wilderness. Mm. It is wilderness. True. Yes. Very true. So that that's what it, it. That, that, that's the whole of the testimony. That is the whole of the testimony. Okay. And now after when I came back, mm. <laughs> I stopped doing all that. Yes. I you had change. to repent. I that's changed it completely, mm. completely, mm. completely, and I cannot go back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, all the glory to the Lord. Yes. So, and, uh, mm -hmm. anything you maybe, can no, anything I can just conclude, mm. hell is horrible. Mm. Hell is real. Mm. Heaven is real. Mm. Rapture is near. Jesus can come for, the, for his bride anytime. We must be ready. Mm. Not only waiting for the rapture. Yes. We don't know when the Holy Spirit will come to rapture the church. Yes, yes. You have to be ready because we don't know your last breath on earth. Mm. You don't know when the, the, the groom is coming for you. Yes. You can say, I will change because it seems like rapture is still far. I will change. Mm. But he's coming for you tomorrow. Amen. He's coming for you today. Amen. So the best thing mm. is to live a holy mm. life. Mm. And nothing, whatsoever God calls sin, mm. an abomination, Amen. can will enter the kingdom of God. That is true. Nothing, mm. nothing mm. dirty. Mm. And the Bible says to those people who say that, God looks at the heart. Yes. God looks at the motive. Mm. Yes, mm. God looks at the heart. According to the scripture in the book of on, Samuel. On, on his head, that 
out of heart comes mm. out all evil thought, sexual sin, yes, murderers, yes, whatever yes, lies. Yes, yes. So the things, the how you how how you appraise yourself, mm. how you dress comes mm. from heart and it comes shows from heart. Dirtiness. That dirtiness. Is, yes. You, you dress naked. Your heart is naked. Yeah. So it is true it comes from heart, but yes. it is come from heart. That thing, that evil thing mm -hmm. that is happening outside. It came from your mm -hmm. heart. Came so that we saw it outside. outside. <laughs> Now even the scripture, if you read the uh, first Thessalonians chapter um, five verse twenty-three, yes, the Bible says mm. that our body, mm. Mm. our soul, mm. our spirit, mm. to be found blameless yes. before the coming of, of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. Mm. So it is not only about the inner, mm. even the outer appearance, the body. According to the word, our bodies. Mm at the temple, Amen. the body, Amen. not the soul, Amen. not the spirit. Amen. The body is, is, the te is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay, brethren, as we started with a, a scripture, also we shall finish with a scripture in the book of Revelation 21, verse 27. The Bible says, And there shall, is, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defies Neither whosoever works abomination or makes a lie, but they which are written in the books in, in the Lamb's book of life. Mm. Nothing abomination, nothing lie, nothing that is defiled, defiled body, defiled hair, all mm. those things yes. shall enter in the kingdom of God. But only those that are written in the book of or in the Lamb's book of life. And then in Revelation 21, 7, the Bible says, He that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and hormongers and sorcerers and idolaters, all liars, shall live, uh, shall have their part in the lake which burns with the fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Hallelujah. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. May those that have ears, may they hear what the Spirit of God is saying, because we are living in the end and days, and Jesus Christ is coming. All what have been said, it is in the word of God. It is scriptural. It is scriptural. If you have any question, you may ask uh, below. You can see below the number of radian is there. You can ask her. Or you can also ask me. And then there are also other messages that are preached. They are in this channel about the contraceptive. All the scripture that she was, she was given, I wrote them. I, I have them. So God will bless you if you hear. For the Bible says, do not just be reasoners, but doers of the word of God. So don't re just reason. Don't, don't just hear, but do what the word of God says in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Mighty Father, our God and our Savior, we glorify your holy name. We praise you, Jesus Christ, for there is none like you, for the word of God that you have given unto us. Thank you for the reason. Thank you for your word, Jehovah. Thank you for this testimony that glorify your holy name. I pray that they that have listened, O God, and watched this message, May you transform their life. May you bless them, O oh God. May you forgive them. May you give them a heart of change. May you re re renew their heart. May you release the revival of fire, the revival of holiness, the revival of righteousness upon their heart. In the name of Jesus, baptize them by the fire of the Holy Spirit and cleanse them in the name of Jesus. I pray, Jehovah, that none that have risen this message will miss the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, The Bible Jesus. says that how would you be saved? In the book of Acts 2, 2, 2, 38, that, and Peter said to them, Repent everyone of you in the name of Jesus and be baptized in, in the name of Jesus and you shall receive the gift of life and the, the forgiveness of sin. So you need to repent and to be baptized to be saved. Repent us, then be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so that you can enter the kingdom of God. For unless you are born again through water, through spirit, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Amen, amen, amen. Shalom. Get the end time writings of Apostle Simon Geshinga, a humble end time messenger with an apostolic wisdom of the word of God and end times revelations. Preparing the bride of Christ for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in complete holiness and graciousness. Go to Play Store Android application and search Apostle Simon Gishinga. Click and download the application.
all messages are offline once you download them. Receive back the ancient word of God reviving the saints for the kingdom of God by inspired living word of God. Such Apostle Simon Gishinga on Play Store application.